intrepid wanderers in the land of Madeira. Uh, we're back again for some more crazy adventures, just like always. Uh, we're going to start out with our little uh, our promos here. We have our World Anvil page on World Anvil at M Madeira. Uh, it still needs some work, like, let's be honest. There's always more stuff you can add, but it's a pretty cool site. You can add in quest lines. You can add in information about your different locations, towns, villages, bars, taverns, people, groups of individuals. So you can flesh out your whole story um, or your whole world for people to see. And then you also can have a um, campaign line that corresponds to your world, which is pretty cool. Your players can have their own pages where they can add journals, entries, and kind of keep track of like what they're doing if they did it, except for minor slackers, but I still love them, so that's how Hey, I added stuff. You did. Oh, what? Stuff. World Anvil. Were you, were you talking about me? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Frequently. So... <laughs> Um, just keep that in mind. You can sponsor them. You can, um, subscribe to them. I think that they do their own subscriptions. So just check out worldanvil.com and kind of like check out the account resources. I'll also throw out that we have the Twitter and Madeira of. It's not a very creative name, but you know, it's where we're at. Um, we're also a little bit behind with the episodes because... Adobe Premiere is being a jerk right now. I think Ooh, I'm gonna have to good reload old it. Adobe. I know it's CS6 and it's not the online version, and so I think it's just really, it's un, it's unhappy. It's a long story. I might have to use iMovie, and I don't know if I can, I don't know if I can downgrade myself to that after having used Adobe. So, uh, we're kind of, it's a little bit of a thing. Uh, Janelle, how are we doing with the um, items? Items are good. We're working on getting some out of stock things back in stock. Oh, that's that's important. You know, gotta have stock to sell the stock. Uh, this is true. Right, Teddy. How are the socials? Yeah, we got a Twitter. Advertising. Yeah, we got a Twitter. Adver uh, how do you? Madeira of. Yep. And um, have you been advertising? Who have you told lately about us? Uh, you know, just everybody. You know, just walking down the street, you just right. see a random dude be like, hey, I play D&D &D on the internet. You should check it out. <laughs> oh, good. Good. Uh, yeah. So, like, your dad and Isaac and your mom? I mean, your dad, Noah, and your mom? Maybe Nick? Right. Okay. I see how this rolls. All right. Our little recap last week. Um, Teddy. Somebody was missing. And actually... That's I, weird. Yep. Um... I don't want to recap too much because I don't want to ruin it for uh, Teddy. But we'll just say that <laughs> Kaifira and Arinari um, continued to travel to Hikula. They got into trouble and they need Teddy to bail them out. That's well, what it is. I don't know there? if that's it, but, you know, something like that. They are on their way to Hequila and, you know, they having some adventure. Found some adventure. They found some adventure there. That's what I'm gonna say. We're in no more trouble than you usually get into. That's pretty fair, actually. Fair statement. So. All right. So we're gonna start with Teddy because obviously he kind of needs to be caught up. Otherwise, the story gets a little bit jagged. So sorry, Janelle. We'll do our best. It's fine. All right. So Teddy. I'm gonna just oh. I'm putting you back at the town for a minute. So mm, you uh as you're leaving the town. Um, I gotta get my horses. Somebody <laughs> jacked my horses. Okay. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure only the last time I, the last time I was here, only one of them was alive. It's fine. I promise, it's fine. You don't know anything. You know oh nothing. Oh my god, about your horses. dude! Both I, of my horses are dead. You know dead. nothing about your horses. All right. I All the dead horses. Getting ready to leave. Stubby runs up to you. Oh, oh, 
Ted, Teddy, oh, before you leave, I forgot. Um, can you, uh, which, where are you going? Are you going back to, to um, town or are you going more east? I don't know uh, which. Uh, I gotta go after my horses, man. You're gonna keep going that way. Can you, can you do me, like, the hugest favor? Like, this is really important because, um, now that I'm staying here, uh, people aren't gonna know where I am. And he takes off his other boot, because remember, the one boot was gone, and he takes off the other boot, and he hands it to you. Can, can you give this to my sister in, in, um, Thon Kuldor? She, like, it's, it's, it's like the way that you're going. Like, it, it should be on the way. It's just, it's north. But you take the north road. It's Thon Kaldor. It's 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 really important. Her name is Yo know, Digit Night Shaper. And uh she'll wanna know uh, where I Don, am. Don Kaldor. Ka Ka Don yep. Corleone. Yep. Um I got Stubby's boot. Stubby's boot. And I need to bring it to his yo, sister. Yo Digit. Night Shaper. Sarah, where do you find these names? <laughs> the internet. The internet. Uh, I can't really. That, that's a tough one to mock. Yeah, so it's kind of hard to mock. It's already pretty mockable. Okay, so be, uh, wait. It's in the it's in the direction that I'm headed. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 in that direction. It's really important. Yeah, okay. She I'll see what I for me can and, do, bud. And she's going to think that I'm in the wrong spot. And she's going to worry. You know how that is. Like, you, you go somewhere for too long, and then you get talking, and then, like, people are distracted, and they don't. It's, yeah, it's a whole I mess. know exactly how it goes, you know? Right. You just so start much. talking, and then it's like two hours have gone by. Right. It's real weird. Yes. So she just needs to know that, you know, I'm safe and where I am so that she doesn't, you know, try to look for me somewhere else. Yeah, okay, I got you. I got you. Thanks, thanks, man. He goes for the high five. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, dude, bros. Fist bumps are cooler. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. Fist bumps. Dudes, we're all doing fist bumps! He's like... <laughs> he starts fist bumping people in town as he walks away. He's like, good luck. Good luck finding your horses, man. I'll see you in a year. <laughs> I don't know what to expect at this point. I paid an exorbitant rate for those horses. You did. Oh, a whole sword that we found. It's not like you actually lost money. That's true. Well, I mean, I could have got more. It, it, I mean, it was a loss. Let's be honest. Okay, yes, but I mean... Still, it's not like it was your own money. It was an yeah. item that you chose to barter. All right. So because we need you to. Yeah, it's fair. It's fair. All They're right. still my item. Teddy. They're still my horses. You can uh, continue journeying on. Yeah, I'm going. All right, move your man. Where am I moving him to? Well, that's Which the opposite moving? direction. Yeah, I'm so this bear. Yeah, this right there. Bear's okay. my horse. So that's nope. Two hour like two hours go by and you come upon um some dead you see two um owl bear carcasses and a horse carcass. Um I want Please you don't to, hate me. <laughs> I want you to roll uh I'm gonna say investigation if you are wanna just a real investigation for me. Oh, because I'm so good at investigating stuff. That's a 13. Okay. You are pretty sure that the horse is one of your horses. <sighs> Carfira. Uh, no other, no other corpses around. No, no, uh, no corp Kyfir's no. corpse around. No, no. The it looks like the owl bears have been kind of picked over. And it's the only the one horse. Only the one horse. Oh, well, I suppose they got away. So that's a good thing. 
I guess. Hey, you still have one horse. I I want to keep going. All right. Move your man, man. So that's that's squares. where you found those. Okay, that's just a random spot. So you travel a couple more hours, like two more hours. Oh no, a fork in the road. <laughs> what is this? Okay, it's a fork in the road. Um, investigation. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, that's an eight. Ooh, you don't know which fork, uh, you kind of, like, uh, I don't know which way to go, man. Hmm. Um, okay, intelligence check. Just a roll of intelligence for me. Ten. Okay, you do maybe sort of remember that Stubby said something about the North Road. I do not remember him mentioning anything about the North Road. <laughs> okay. No, I did say something about it, it was the North Road. Yeah, you've got to bring a boot to his sister. Yeah, I remember that much. He mentioned okay. going north. Yeah, if I remember the north road, then I'm going north. All right. Uh, so you uh, continue going north. It's it's like this is not like a oh it's a three minute travel. It's like hours. Um, uh, so let me just. That doesn't. That doesn't sound like the town I was supposed to find. Um. So. I think that you. Let me. Let me. Uh, check my piece of paper here. So you were that looks for. It's pretty late at night. Like it's. Three, four, five. It's like nighttime by the time you hit this town. Um. So there is a tavern. It's kind of dark, but um, if you want to check out a tavern or I don't know what you want to sleep in the stars. <laughs> I'm going to go to the tavern. Okay. Um, Wait, is there only one tavern in the town? Is yeah, there a small it's town? Not a, it's uh... not a huge. Actually, let me just let me just see what I got here. I got to remember what I did. Uh... Uh, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna throw here. And I'm gonna throw her here. And I'm gonna throw her here just because I can. Um, it's just this little town right here. Oh, so not a not it's a not real huge. Big you just town. got like well, it's just one. Little, uh, little village. Just, you know, one little tavern. Well, what's that house on top of the hill there? I don't know. It's just a random map. But also, it's dark out, so just keep that in mind. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay. All right. So, um, you, uh, enter the, the tavern. You notice... Oh. I'm carrying Stubby's boot in as well. Oh, right. Okay. So, um, you enter the tavern. It's it's called the Radiant Oak. You kind of see the door. Um, and there's a dwarf. Now, this dwarf is not the prettiest dwarf you've ever seen. He's a male dwarf, first of all. So that doesn't, I mean, I don't know your sexual orientation or likes or preferences, but it's just, he's not cute. But he looks a little gruff, a little grumpy, but on the other flip side, he has really short hair that's dyed turquoise. That's really yep. weird. Yep. And he's like, oh, how can I help you? Uh, are you more, uh, are you one of those, are you one of those refugees? 
Uh, no, I hope not. Well, uh, uh, I was I was sent. Uh, this is the town of uh, Don Corleone, correct? Yes, this is Don Caldor. Okay, it's close enough. Yeah. Um, a, a friend of mine, uh, by the name of Stubby, uh, sent me to this town to find uh, a a digit night shaper. Oh yeah, no, yo digit, yep. Yeah. She uh, <laughs> yo digit, she okay. Just lives uh, actually, if you hang out a little bit, she usually stops in for a drink or two. Uh, sure. I mean, it's getting a little bit late, but. Dwarves, am I right? You know. Yeah, dwarves, yeah. Right? Yep. Yeah. All I know way. all about dwarves. Great. Uh, are you looking to stay the night? Uh, yeah, I suppose I'll need a room, probably. It's okay. getting pretty dark. It's, it's... Yeah, I'm, I'm also chasing after this person that, you know, stole my horses. Oh, that's the worst. Yeah, that, I, I know. The worst kind the of person. Freaking, I hate Just... it when people steal my stuff. Just take, just here I am, you know, having a nice night in a town here, and and this they just they just go up and steal my horses in the morning so without rude. even telling me. That's so rude. I uh, know, just yeah. the worst kind of person. Um, so a room is one gold and one silver piece for the night. Oh, that um, seems like one gold. <clears throat> uh, spent uh. uh a reasonably priced side of things. I mean, definitely not ex uh, expensive at all. Well, the thing is, we have had a lot of refugees, and so I had to raise the rent. If you look around the tavern, you'll notice. I mean, there are a number of, and. You fall into this category, so you're maybe not as the. That's just, uh, that's there are a, a lot strange, of non dwarves. Right? Why are there so many refugees in this town? That's weird. Right? Why are there? Because where where are they coming from? They're coming from the town of Leary. Leary. Yeah. Oh. It's uh. What's what's uh? It's east. It's. Let me just refresh my directional coordinates. It's east of here. Like southeast, it's on the way to Hequila. It can be. It's kind of like a detour town, but uh, yeah, they're. They, it's just all of them, and they. I I do not like it. I'm hoping that the situation is remedied, you know, because I don't like these refugees in my place, in my town. We are a dwarven town, and while I appreciate you, as a non-refugee stopping by. Moving on. I do not like this whole situ- None of us like this situation of these refugees here. But, like, do you know what's going on in their town? Uh, I just heard a bunch of bandits were taking over. You could, you could ask some of them. Oh. Bandits, huh? That's what I heard. Kind of like horse thieves. Kind of like horse thieves. Yep. Yeah. I don't know I bet you a horse thief and a bandit would get along real good. Uh, I bet they would. Also, this this accent is kind of deteriorated. It's kind of changed. It's kind of funny. Anyway, yeah. No. So, uh, yeah. Let me just get you. Would you like? Um. So, what you also maybe didn't know is that we are best known for. Oh wait, our hold on. Life. I should ask you. Have you seen the horse thief? They might have come through here. Have I seen a horse thief? No. Oh. <laughs> It would have been so. uh, an elf. Ooh, no, there are no elves in this <laughs> town. No, we do not accept elves at all. What? In this she might have no. just come through. She could have come through. We would have kicked her on out. Yeah, no. but has no. any have any elves passed through we, recently? Well, I mean, some refugees. They try to stay here. We boot them on out. They tell them. We tell like, them I mean, it would have been watch. in in this last day. They would have come through. Uh, I mean, on horse. Yeah. With a horse. I haven't seen any any elves with horses. I saw no. one elf with like, just like a little baby elf with her. Looked like I don't know some baby they're holding, and I was like, get out, move along. We kicked him right out. Told him to go to cover watch. We do not accept elves here. This is not an elf accepting community. 
Okay, well, that's racist. <laughs> Elfist. Speciesist. Yeah. So, anyways, like I was trying to tell you, uh, we do have a very, very fine selection of drinks, beverages, if you would oh, like. Oh, yeah, drinks, drinks and beverages. <laughs> we have so many options. I got some, uh, some wines. Yeah, so why don't you just uh, <clears throat> read off those? Read off all of those, please, would okay. you? Well, and uh, I think I'll, I'll make a decision by okay. the end of it. So for wines, we have a house Gerson Winder, which is a house made white wine with flavors that are rough and sweet. A celestial mm -hmm. alligator Pinot Noir, which is uh, <laughs> an imported mm -hmm. red wine with flavors that are leathery, smoky, and crisp. And crisp. A stumbling minotaur Riesling, which is my favorite. An imported white wine that is described as crisp and mellow. The House Cabernet Sauvignon. House Chardonnay. Uh, another House Chardonnay. Mm. One of them is like raisiny and earthy, and one's like powerful and earthy. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's the wines. Then we have some mm -hmm. lagers and ales. Mm. We have the Tangled Kraken Pilsner. Mm. Uh, mm. It's described as nutty pilsner with a pleasant mm -hmm. finish. Mm -hmm. The house mm -hmm. ale, uh, mm -hmm. it's a little creamy. Mm -hmm. The pie pseudo dragon stout, mm -hmm. which is a micro brewed mm -hmm. medium mm -hmm. brown stout. Mm -hmm. Yep. No, I've still got more. Mm -hmm. A house hard cider. <laughs> mm -hmm. A yellow paladin malt, mm -hmm. which is a brewed copper malt. It's a little sour. The the brave totem stout. Uh, which is a brewed chestnut brown stout, a little sweet finish. The block and mace ale, a little light ale. Um, then we have some liqueurs. We have the house vermouth, stuffy mouth vodka, house brandy, black king rum, the wounded polyhedral rum, the disfigured mm. sailor brandy, which is mm, it's mulberry brandy. Uh, and the house brandy, which is a uh, house made palm ace brandy. That's what we got for the liquors, the uh, drinks. We also have some foods if you'd like, but I can read off those entries as well if you'd like. Uh, Would you like yeah, to start I'll with take, a drink? Uh, water. <laughs> right. I was just thinking that you were going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, do you want, do you want to hear the menu? You just want some bread. <laughs> yeah, just give me some toast. Okay. I mean, because we had filled lettuce bowls and cramp potato skins, deep fried onion rings. None of that's appealing to you. You've been walking all day. It sounds like you've been you preach. But anyways, you can do what you want. I will just keep my rotisserie cooked frog for the rest of the patrons. <laughs> yeah, okay. You can keep that. And the grilled sausage. Oh, he probably wouldn't eat that anyway. Ugh, anyways, um, so he goes off and gives you your water and some bread. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I really need to get rid of this boot. I, the boots on the table at this okay. point. It's just. Okay. <laughs> uh, roll pers. Uh, actually, I'm gonna say like. Oh, can, I. I should I should say when he comes by and brings my food I should be like, yeah um I've never really met this uh, digit person before so if you could just tell me when she's here or point her out or something so oh yeah okay great yeah um uh, I'll keep my eye out maybe I'll see if someone can go find her for you see where she's at hey boy boy can you go go down to yo digit's house and tell her someone's waiting for her. Over here at the tavern, tell her to bring some cash too for some drinks. Skies, yeah, do that. Great, she'll, I'm sure she'll be right down. Oh, okay. All right. Oh, wait. Great. All right, you're sitting there. You gonna just eat your bread and drink your water? <clears throat> yeah. What's your passive perception? Uh, 50. Okay, well, I mean, I'm just going to throw out in general that you do notice that amongst the very, like, a, like there are a lot of dwarves here. Um, they're all pretty gruff, but, like, kind of over in a corner, there are some non-dwarves in the room, including three humans, 
two halflings and four dragonborn. Um, you also see a tiefling sitting with a half elf. And um, just as a general notice, you kind of notice that the half elf is getting like the like they the shittiest service. They're not really okay. Good. I was just gonna say half elves are acceptable. <laughs> no, I mean. <laughs> It might have something to do with the the armor on the the um, the tiefling that armor on the tiefling. Yeah, the tiefling has a little armor on or something. You know, it just seems like the half elf is not getting the best service, but it's like semi acceptable. Well, what's up with the armor? Is it just the that she has armor? Or she, or? Just, she has armor. Like she looks like, uh, you know, someone who's a, like a guard or something. Or I don't know. Just looks more like the fact that the half elf. Okay, roll intelligence. Look, Teddy is not that smart. Jeez, when Kyfira and Arinari went through, I got kicked right out. <laughs> Wait, they told me that you weren't here. Ugh. Intelligence, did you yeah, say? Yeah. Yeah, that's a ten. I mean, you can't really make you. You notice that the the tiefling's wearing armor, but you can't really. You're just like I don't know. Like you can't make a lot of sense out of it. Okay. Gee, I don't. I just. Where would Kaifira have gone? Alright, so maybe like ten minutes later. If she later, didn't come through this town, then she must have gone the other way. Like maybe ten minutes later, uh, this gruff looking uh, female dwarf. Yo, who's looking for me? I'm Yo uh, Digit. Who's looking for Yo Digit? That's me. What do you oh, want? God. <laughs> she walks over. She's got the. Mm, She's obviously she's buff. What do you want? I don't even know you, outsider. Uh, <laughs> um. Yeah, but I, I know that boot. Uh, yeah. That's um, my brother's boot. What are you doing with Stubby's boot? Uh, I've got um some important news to tell you. Is he dead? I will kill you if he is dead. <laughs> Oh, okay, he's not dead then. <laughs> then what is the news? Uh, he moved to a different town. What town is he in? Uh, the town just down the road. Down the road, road like there's a lot of ro which road? There's a lot uh, of roads the, here, man. Uh, 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 to to the west. To the west, so he moved to Tarsia. He lives in oh. Tarsia, so he moved west of Tarsia. No, he moved. Okay, he moved east of Tarsia, west of here. Don't you don't you know where any re, re, relation uh, towns Reeds, are related? You mean to that each other? little podunk town, Reedsboro Bend? Uh, yeah, he's. Uh, what the he's, hell is um, he doing there? That's a nothing uh, town. He's he's the mayor. What? You are shitting me. What are you talking uh, about? No, um, Stubby's uh, not that bright. He, yeah, well, uh, he seemed like a decent fellow, so... Well, he's a very decent fellow. He is very decent. Yeah, I will give you that. So, yeah, he uh, we we uh, happened to go through, and then we saw that they were in trouble, and, you know, uh, Stubby there uh, stepped up, and he took took uh, took care of business. That's Stubby. Why do I have his boot, then? Why do you have his boot, then? I, I, he just gave it to me. I don't... Uh, okay. Well, he is... He is a little bit addled sometimes. Uh, know. here, you can- I don't- I don't need it anymore, you can have it. But, thank uh, you for this, thank you for telling me where he's at. I appreciate that. Um, hopefully he was kind to you. He's a good boy. He's a good brother. <laughs> yeah, um, he's a bit odd, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, he- aren't we all? Aren't we all, friend? Sure. What is your name? What's your name? Uh did I give him a different name? No. <laughs> no, he no, called you Teddy did. in the other room. I told Maybe. him my name was Teddy? You did. I, don't know. I thought I gave him some weird name. 
I don't Mm-mm. know. I'm pretty sure I did, though. Maybe. But I don't remember what it is. You gotta keep track of your names. I don't remember what it is either. I really don't think you did. I'm... I, I don't told remember. You Teddy. So... We're just gonna go okay. with Teddy because I don't think it matters much. It might, but... Uh, I'm uh, Teddy. All right. That's my name. Well, Teddy, it's Teddy. just Teddy. Maybe there was uh, a moment where you tried to tell him something about you're coming back and you told him a fake name, maybe. But anyways, yeah, we'll yeah, roll I with Teddy because it doesn't really yeah. matter. We'll figure it out later. Uh, uh, he might uh, not recognize the name. Uh, I think I used a different um, accent when I told him. <laughs> Okay. So okay. it we might have got... sounded different, you know, yeah, if you, you ever like meet actor, him. You do different accents. Yeah, I'm a bit of a, 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 a entertainer. Well, actually, Thanks. this I'm I'm so proud right now of Stubby that I think that we should have a round of drinks in honor of Stubby. I think that's the best plan right now. So everyone, let's let's have a. Ooh, that was some hard. Oh, oh God. How say you for everyone on me in honor of Stubby? Everyone, let's, uh, let's raise a glass to Stubby for being the mayor now or in charge of Reedsboro Bend. That is an honor for Stubby. And so, like, the, uh, the dwarf there in charge, I don't know if I told you his name. No, I don't think you did. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, but the dwarf in charge with the, the turquoise hair runs around and gives everyone uh, some uh, ale. It's so whatever she called for. Uh, handsy one. All right, everyone raise a glass. Drink I, all I, I slide a hand it with my uh, glass of water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can roll a slide of hand. So I swap it out for my water without anyone noticing? Yeah. This is my hope. Oh, uh, 29? Yeah, okay. You you are successful. So, everyone raises a glass to Stubby! Yeah, Stubby. All the right. man I just met yesterday. Great. So, like, she just ends up, like, wandering around. Like, she now is like, moved on to you. Moved on. You're sitting there. It's also kind of late-ish. Gee, what? It's probably, like, 10 right now. Where could Kaifira have gone if she didn't go through this town, dude? I, I, I mean, I'm already the, uh, the hero of one town. Whoops. What's, what's being the hero of two towns? Right. Uh, you see some of the people, like the, 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 the humans, and some of the people like walk past you, like they're going off to, they're going up to their rooms, and stuff. Uh, I want to go. I guess the tiefling with the armor would be yeah, the yeah, best. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna uh, walk up to him and be like, uh, "So, uh, are you are you from that town that I've uh, heard's been having all that trouble with bandits or something?" Yeah, unfortunately, I I am. Uh, um, my name is... Is uh, it just, just bandits? Hold on, hold on. You wouldn't happen to have seen a horse thief, would you? I'm not a horse thief. <laughs> well, I mean, you stole my horses, it kind of makes you a horse thief. Yeah, what's... I mean, what? I intended on bringing them back. Yeah, um, what, what's your name, sir? Uh, just, uh, my name's Teddy. I'm, uh, my name's Caldari, um, Caldini, and, yeah, we, uh, my friend here, um, and I are both from Leary, um, it was overrun by some bandits, um, let me just see what I can tell you what I remember. They're, they're, like, really bandits, though, they're just not, like, uh, pirates that have seek that have just like meandered onto land no these are bandits um they're okay. led by a man named galwin 
Um, yeah, he has a, he leads a bunch of uh, like rogues and misfits, um, and they kind of like. He's not a dragonborn, is he? No, he's not okay. a dragonborn. Um, and he kind of like moved into town with his gang and just like, you, you know that weird kind of. He moved in. And he started taking over places and beating up people, and so a couple people are still left. They're scared. A lot what of a us have, have moved. Yeah. Um, we're just really looking at, like, none of us are really powerful enough to, uh, overtake him. Um, I, I came, I followed, um, my master here. Uh, I served, uh, just a minute. I'll give you a good, tell you what, what. Uh, I serve Jamilar. He was a uh, one of the. Uh, I mean, Jamilar's like, ha hello. He's a little bit uppity. <sighs> yes, I am one of the uh, village people. As quite well, I'm quite wealthy. I don't really. Anyways. Oh, so like. <clears throat> If I clear up, if I if I get rid of all these bandits for you, you're the guy that'll pay me. If I can go anywhere, this is just a stopping point. I've taken my money, and I can set up anywhere. So I'm just going to move on to Tarsia, and kind of like it doesn't really matter to me. I can make money anywhere okay. and then uh Caldini's like yeah yeah you have to just a lot of the people the villagers though can't defend themselves and um they've they're afraid like Gowan is quite powerful and he he has um He's kind of, he's kind of gotten this, uh, side, side, it seems like this other guy, Pilinor, um, he's kind of working with Gowan, but I don't think that he and his band are, are fully, like, entangled with him. I don't, I don't really understand that whole situation. Um, so, there are some townspeople, if you left, um, the, the priest is left. Feldrick, um, he, um, is in charge of our local, uh, church. Um, or he's in charge of the local church. I never really thought a lot about him, but most of the villagers, uh, are religious and devout and, you know, ties their money to him. So, uh, <clears throat> what can you tell me about these, ba like, how many bandits are there? There are a lot, a lot of bandits, a few bandits, they're just really tough bandits. Um, uh... you know, I haven't counted them all. I know that they're, you know, they've overrun the, um, the little, the local inn. Um, there's like a local inn tavern, and then there's a tavern just a tavern tavern so they've overrun the tavern for sure um it's probably like 20 people in there i know there's um okay let me just uh okay they're mostly pretty ragtag like it doesn't really seem like it's just that the, the locals aren't really strong but overall just a bunch. I think if you could kind of like, if, you know, if someone got rid of Gowan and maybe this Pelinor, that things would be all right. Um, but there are a few dangerous ones. Um, so Pelinor is one. You can tell him because he wears a green cloak. These are just the things I've figured out. Uh, there's also some guy named Villanin, um, who, uh, He's a little bit of a bandit, 
things out in the stables. Um, I mean, aren't they all bandits? Yeah, but I mean, he's just more of a super bandit. He's like a, a bandit squared. Yeah, and there's also I don't know. There's some kind of weird one of the one of the houses, and you would have to just when you, if you were to go there, and I don't know that I recommend it. It's I mean, you're just one man. Um, yeah, there. I mean, I already saved one town. So. Right. Uh, well, I mean, more power. Stubby to you. saved the town. Whoa, well, okay. This Stubby wouldn't have fair. saved the town if I wasn't there to recruit Stubby. Right? So, in um, in relation, I saved the town. There uh, is one. Um, we're all kind of like everyone, even I'm a little bit uh, timid. There's like a. There's just this really strong. Uh, gang member. They call him the cannibal. I haven't quite figured that that out at all. And I, I just I will throw out one other dude. His name is Burl. He's a half ogre. Hangs out in the half ogre. Half ogre. Hangs out in the inn. half ogre. Half ogre. You want me to spell half that? Half ogre. You? Yeah. Huh. Yep. What's his other half? He's half giant, half ogre. Nah, I think he's probably half human. I don't know. I didn't ask. So, I just know that okay. he's half ogre. I don't know how that works, but... I don't either. I mean, how do you get half... Oh, I don't want to say anything about half ogre. <laughs> I, don't I, I don't want to think about it anymore. It's fair. It's very fair. fair. That's that's all I know. I mean, we're moving on. We've just. Uh, how long have you been in this town? This town right here. Yeah. Just tonight. We just we just frequently. Like when when did you get into town? Uh. Like this morning. Yeah. This Would morning. you have noticed if anyone else has been through this town? Yeah. I mean, uh, we've like seen maybe an elf like on a afternoon. horse. I did not see any elves on a horse. No elves on a horse, huh? Yeah. That's odd. Uh, and Janelle, just to answer your question, it's this is why I prepared this afternoon. <laughs> so, <laughs> right? right? That's why I prepared. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'll fly by. There has to be that level of fly by your seat of your pants and prepare a little bit. Oh, so, right? so, when, so when she went through this town, you didn't have any of this ready, no, so you just kicked her right that out. she heard. But also just maybe dependent on who she talked to. Oh, okay. I definitely of... didn't get who the big bad guys were. I've definitely now encountered two of them. Well, <laughs> right, right. seen two of them, talked right. to one of them. Yeah, I had to go back through and really reread and take notes to be like, that's what I'm saying. Like, I still have to sort of prepare, even though you guys get to fly by the seat of your pants. Like, there has to be some, some level of prepared... Or else the flying doesn't work. Oh, yeah, Feldrick. He's a little different. Yeah, okay. okay. Well, that's uh, enough uh, information gathering, I suppose. Yeah, that's also why we didn't just use the breakout rooms. Just barely. Just to... Wait, what? What? For what? What? What'd you say? Just, to... just wait a minute. Just... Okay. You'll see. <laughs> I gotta find uh, I guess uh, I guess I'm staying for the night. My horse has to rest. Uh, it's been running all day. Okay, just a minute. Uh, I'm gonna I wanna uh, get. What time is it? What's this? <laughs> I'll click join. Do I click join? Yeah, click the join. No, I don't want that. Uh, so this is a breakout room. I was going to use this Hello? last week. I had a whole thing planned and somebody slept. But you can do breakout rooms That's with weird. Zoom. It's kind of cool. Cool. Uh, I want to get as many hours in my book as I can, which probably won't be very many. Hold on. Hello, 
again. Hello. I'm just waiting for Teddy to be forced to. So, yeah, I was going to play with that last game, but then somebody didn't show up, so I didn't need them. That's weird. Even though it's... we played in the breakout room the entire time. Yeah, we play. I mean, you know, it's important. It's kind of fun. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Like, you could definitely, like, give people some different information. Okay, anyways. Uh, so, Teddy, I'm going to point out for you that you've been going all day more than eight hours. So, by the time you make it to your room, you're done. Like, otherwise you're going to suffer exhaustion. I can't read for an hour? No, because you you can get up early. Well, you can get up after your eight hours and read for an hour. But you what? already, like, I read about the fact that you're only technically supposed to travel eight hours a day. And you've been over eight hours. You've been a big Yeah, day. but I've been on a horse the entire time. I had to sneeze. Practically sleep on the back of a horse. <laughs> I'll give you an hour. Ooh. How about half an hour? Great. So then I can have an even 23 hours. Wow. Wow. Out of 80? Isn't it 80? Yeah. Okay. What happened to not attuning to the book? Uh, I still have to read the book for 80 hours to do this stuff. I don't have to attune to it, but I still have to read it. Ah. All right, so you go to bed. Okay. You wake up Snoozing. the next morning. Oh. Nothing really. Oh. What? Is there anything else you want to do? Uh, no. Nah. I mean, I'll probably get up. Uh, uh, get get some breakfast. Yeah, I mean, they give you some breakfast, some water, some. Whatever you want. And then uh and then I'll head on my way to the to save the citizens of another town. Okay, well Nope, that's the wrong map. That's this one. Cause you know Teddy's just a nice guy, not looking for, uh, not looking for no money or nothing. Just, he's just a nice dude. Nice dude. All right. Yeah. So there's Teddy. Uh. Okay, you go up there. Gee, I hope I'm going ahead the right way. <laughs> oh man, this is really far. Yep. So um, you travel for. It's like six hours. Do, do, do. Any, any more dead horses? Nope, you don't see any dead horses. Okay. Whoa! Another fork? Um, do an investigation. It was a whole day ago. <laughs> <gasps> 21. Great, you notice there's a sign. The oh, sign. thank God. Right? Teddy was smart enough to see a sign, dude. Right? Last time <laughs> oh, he didn't geez. see the sign. It was awkward. I would have laughed if that was a natural one. I would have laughed so hard. Okay, um, so what the sign says, let me just... Teddy, I have your horses. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, Teddy, follow oh, your horses are this way. Oh, and the, it says horses, but then it's X'd out, and over it, it says horse. <laughs> Fair. Uh... I know the font's really small. The town was Lear. I'm pretty sure. Leary. Yeah, so Leary is south. Okay. I'm pretty sure that's is the town that I get to save. I will also throw in that probably at that point because it's been two, three, four, five. It's been like six hours. You probably take a short rest, just FYI. Because otherwise, like, your horse needs to water itself. And I'm kind of assuming 
that you take at least a few minutes. Yeah, probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Don't push the horse too much. Just. And, you know, like, based on the fact that if you left, like, around eight. Just a minute. Try to talk. Like, it's early afternoon by the time you, you hit the, middle, the intersection. And then you travel. Come on, you gotta be able to get to the next town within a day. Who would put towns two days apart? That's just that's just poor uh, uh, city. Yeah. Uh... Okay, so it's like I would say it's about six when you start to see the, you know, up ahead, the um, makings of a small. I cross the hill and I can see the the town in the yeah in the distance. Nothing's on fire. Uh, uh, no, no fires. No fires? Oh, but this town can't possibly be as bad as these people were saying it is. Uh, you're coming up from the north. Ignore the green box. That's where I covered up the name of the town from the, from the internet. When I stole it from the internet. Is this, is this, is this... Am I supposed to be able to move one of these dudes? Um, the green one on building number 25 is me. Oh, oh. um, I gotta give you a dude. Oh, and so the one that's on the church, I believe, is Arinari. Arinari. I don't know why Arinari's on the... Why could you... Why would you possibly... Did you ever... I wasn't here, so... I don't think you ever moved Arinari last week, so... She just kind of... Her figure just kind of sat there. Yeah, this is what you get for missing a week. I've already killed four bandits. Whoa. They wanted to take my gun. <laughs> <laughs> Which, I mean, you're going to get that information anyways when we finally re regroup. But, you know, All it's right, a thing. Teddy, your guy's on the, on the, the yeah, north I side see. there. Uh, I'm trying to remember what we said the spots were. All right, so 25 is the inn 21 the is inn was taken over by the bandits just just uh yeah 21 is is the inn 24 is the church 21 is the elder's house 49 is the stable wait 21 is the church correct or no, 24 is the church 21 is the elder's house why is the elder's house have a graveyard 49 is a stable Yep. Hi, Tessa. Tessa, you can fly home. And and twenty forty nine is where I met met Billman, who Wait, is one of the. Make more sense if forty three was the stable. Um, I did it by the like the entryway, like as you first come in. I just picked That's things because I'm coming from the north. You know what? You just shut it. You just shut it. Okay, so. You are coming in from the north, and it's like around seven. It's late. It's late in the day. It's like almost dinnerish time. Just FYI. What Tessa? What? What's wrong? What's wrong? Just you know, slowly going through town. All right, you're horse. meandering through town. Is, this is after <laughs> Arinari and I had gotten into town and killed the four guys correct Stop, like you are really bad at just like spilling all the beans i know <laughs> but i mean we already did the I fight mean... i don't want him to walk into the fight no he has to walk into whatever he walks into like i got that like i okay 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 i got it i got it right, there. Right. You know, missy i'm gonna put you on mute can i just mute you that'd be funny uh you know um oh yeah i can you're muted <laughs> Ah! Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> wow, funny. Sarah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Listen, children, I will unmute you. I will. I, I will mute you. Teddy, nobody, uh, um, as I go through town, nobody stops me. No bandits try to steal my um, stuff. So as you're going through town, um, you, you see some like... I guess I'm going to have to ask if there's a stable or something to put my horse for the night. Okay, you see a couple uh, 
gruff, like, individuals. Like, they're, like, walking in, like, groups of three or so. Around town. A couple, like, timid, like, like a, a mom with her, holding her kid, like, timidly, like, hurriedly walking. Uh, uh, excuse, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, yeah. is there, is, yeah. no, uh, is no, there a place please, I could uh, no, put my please horse? Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. What? Don't hurt me. Okay, do I look like I'm going to hurt you? I don't know. There's a lot of people here that are really scary. Okay. Do I look real scary? Yes. <laughs> uh, how about now when I whip out my loot? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. You look Ring. okay. Like the little kid, little kid is like pretty little. It's like, it like smiles a little bit. Uh, uh, okay. See, he knows. He gets it. Okay. What do you look? What do you want? I gotta. I, gotta uh, make it I, I need a place to uh, put my horses up for the night. Sal, just keep going down. Like keep following the path. Just it, it's right by the gate, the exit gate. Just you, you won't miss it. Okay, thanks. Okay, You're a big bye. help. So I wouldn't stay. Okay, bye bye. And she like hurries okay, off. Okay, but aren't you staying? I have to stay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, good luck with that. Thanks. Jerk. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hope I don't see you again. <laughs> see you never. Oh wow, cool, a stable. I'm gonna go back to the uh, stable. Hello, stable master. Knock, Just knock. Just calm your. Uh, hello, stable master. Are you there? What do you want? Stable uh, master's oh. not around right now. He's not? No. Well, then who are you? My name's Billman. Billman? Yeah. What do you want? Well, I need a place to put well, my horse. Well, I will fight your ass. Okay, well. Listen here, I don't have a donkey. It's a horse. <laughs> They're usually more expensive than a donkey. And I'd rather you not punch it. He takes a swig of some wine that he's got. He's like, listen, I don't really... I don't care for your kind. I don't know what kind it is, but... Steve is pretty full. We already got a horse down here. Oh, you do, do ya? Yeah. I'm gonna have to. Uh, did uh, have you met the owner of this horse? Actually, um, roll. What's the opposite of intimidation? Mm. It'd just be like persuasion, wouldn't it? Tessa is upset. I was gonna say, she's being very vocal. She has been very vocal recently. Makes it easier to find her when she goes flying somewhere. Oh, okay. Uh... Okay, well that's not actually totally helping me. I'm gonna say this. He seems a little bit like intimidating. He definitely gives that air of like intimidation. Uh is he like a really big big burly dude? No. Well uh, he seems pretty burly. He looks pretty burly. And like surly, burly and surly, they use both words. Pretty little tall. Uh, how about you? What are you gonna give me for taking this horse? Uh, uh, <laughs> what are what's the uh, rate to keep a horse in a stable overnight? I don't I don't know what the uh, going rate is. What? Well, you got something like. Maybe some, some, uh, something flashy you can, uh, pass my way? 
Maybe a hundred gold pieces. Whoa, a hundred gold pieces. Yeah, what? you know what? I'm not cheap. That's, uh, uh, you know, I don't know the gold rate, Let's but fight uh, for that it. seems a little expensive. Let's fight for it. Fight for it? Yeah. I will kick your ass. <laughs> Give me your pack. Show me your pack. I'll take something from there. What, my, what do you got that's my, good? Oh, I got, I got the flashiest. Okay? Here. And I whip out a stick. Which is actually the bright torch. But it just looks like a it just it's just, I whip out a torch. A regular torch. It, it looks it's a, it's the bright torch. But it's not on. I got this. No. I got this nice torch. What what else do you have? Let's keep keep it going. Come on, something you good. You don't want the torch? No. Give me what else do you have? Okay, I put the torch back. Uh I got I got some books. Books are stupid. Okay. Listen here, bud. No, you listen here, bud. Do you okay, take it you outside? listen here, bud. <laughs> Do you want to take it outside? We are outside. Uh, hold on, I gotta... Well, you know, I'm just perusing. Come on, let me uh, see your pack. Like what do you have in there? <clears throat> okay. You know, I was saving these for a special occasion, but I guess if you if you are you if you're really interested, I yeah, can... no, I, guess... I want something. I guess I could. I guess I mean, they're they're pretty special. I don't know if I should give them to you. That sounds like something uh, that's gonna work for me. What is it? I. Uh... <sighs> It's just, I don't, I don't think I should, I don't think I should. It's just too, one man should just not have this much, you know, I just, I, I, you know, I've been looking for the right person to pass these along to, but. Uh, he, he like, he goes to grab your bag. He's like, what? what? No, okay, just... okay, 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 okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. And I, I pull out. I don't remember what they were in. They were probably in a pouch, a little pouch. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this pouch are some magic beans. Kind of and when you, uh, you, you, you might as well just them. roll persuasion. <laughs> okay. Come on, good roll, good roll. Big money, no whammies. Twelve? Hmm? I mean, he's drunk, right? Yeah, no, he's interested. He's definitely interested. He's like, what do they do? Okay. What, Tessa? <sighs> what? When you... When you eat them, uh, you become stronger... Than a frost giant. Yes, I want them. That's that sounds. Uh, it, that's not what they do, is it? No. So you're gonna have to roll a deception as well. Oh, but hold on. I was trying to think of something. I was trying to think of like you become um. Unkillable, but. I, I think his to, did the polka spots. I wanted. I wanted to say something. You know, like. You know, you know what I mean? I wanted to say something like unkillable, but you, you know, like, you know, like as strong as a frost giant, but like unkillable as a, I don't know, a god or something. Oh, all right. Yeah. You no, know, uh, roll deception. You know, you, you, you basically, yeah. Roll deception. Yeah. You know, I wanted to play up these, these magic beans as much as possible. Deception. Yes. Big, big money in the world. Tessa, what are you doing? Uh, 18. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at a bird. 18 is low. Come yeah, on. no, I mean, for him, though, he's drunk. He's like, okay, yeah, that's great. Uh, there's a little... I, I don't know. They're, they're, I guess if that's if that's what it's going to take. It's either that or I will just take my sword out and we can, like, start to go okay, out. Okay, okay, okay. You, you can have the beans. You can have the beans. Thanks. Okay. 
There's a stall down there. There's another horse. Just put it next to it. Okay, I, I bring my horse in. Great. And I look at the other horse. Um, do an intelligence check. Okay. There would be two horses in that stable because we got one from, um... Are you looking? Yeah, I got a nine. Yeah. I'm looking at the herd. She's being lazy, but she's walking. Um, you can't, you're not quite sure if it's, like, your horse. You're, see, you're like, it's a little bit dark. I don't rec I don't really recognize, it seems similar. Well, it's similar, also kind of dark, dark right? so you can't fully tell. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, right, okay. you know, so you're not, you're not 100%, but you do leave your horse if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna leave my horse there. Okay. Finally, I got rid of those stupid jelly beans. Also, they're the jelly beans of red spots. Yeah. Like I said, poker spots. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Finally got rid of those stupid things. Pawned them off for a good reason, too. <laughs> All right, Kay. what are you doing? Well, I mean, it's dark. I gotta find the inn. Okay. I get to the inn. Okay, so you get to the inn. You, uh, you don't know where the inn is, first of all. I don't. Oh, as I walk out. Hey, um... Sir... You yeah. wouldn't happen to know where the inn is. Yeah, I do. I do know where the inn is. Oh, could would you mind telling me? You just follow this road straight up. And, straight uh, up. Yeah, and you know, uh, you hit a spot where like the village little square is. So, like, yeah, I went through fancier. there when I came yeah, down to it. Yeah, it's, it's in that area. You can't really miss it. Okay, sounds good. I mean, I guess you could miss it, but that's your fault. Oh. Straight up. Gotcha. Yeah. Oop. Walk up to the square. Great. Look around. Do I see the inn? Uh, um, you do see the inn. I'm not even going to make you like okay. roll for that. That's kind of I don't know, dude. I don't it's remember what I called the inn if I called it a name. You sure. This inn is full not. of a bunch of shady people. It's full of bandits. I know that much. Um... Can I just... Yeah, no, I'm going to save that for later. I'm going to save an, a little side comment for later. Um, <laughs> so... Um, I'm gonna, you, okay, before I go in, though... Yes, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to peek in a window. Yeah, okay. Just to, just to get a feel for the crowd on the inside. Right. Okay. You peek in a window. Uh, do an investigation. I got to organize my... Ooh, 20. Okay. So you get the great view. There um it looks like Not natural, just the regular just Yeah, yeah, yeah no, it's fine. Um yeah, okay. it looks like there's been some kind of ruckus in the room. Um there's some uh looks like some people on the ground and uh you know some other people are like walking around like trying to move these bodies out of the like as you're looking out the window like this guy like walks out. There a couple guys walk out carrying a body. Uh, they're like, hey, what are you doing? Just, uh, dude, I don't know. They're, they might not even notice you because they're busy carrying this body out to, like, figure out what the hell to do with it. Um, you can tell that something is, like, just happened in this. Something's and, just happened? Yeah, you, like. I don't know if I want to go in there. That's a little shady. Your face is a Maybe these shady. bandits just killed somebody. Maybe. Oh, jeez. Do I go in or do I not go in? Do I see anything else in there? Do, like, it, these, there, there's people on the ground and... But there's, some, there's people on the ground. Um, you see some other, like, it looks like there are a couple people dealing with it and then everyone else is, like, doing their own thing. They all look a little bit thuggish, like, they're, uh... But, like, Nothing else is happening. Like it's like there's there's people on the ground and but everybody else is going by their day, mm -hmm. just like oh this is just a normal Friday yep. afternoon. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Like there's some people playing. It looks like some people playing cards or something. Oh, I guess that's not so bad. I mean, it could have just been a bar fight or something. Right. You know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you want know, a little disagreement? So some people got a little bit too drunk. Right. Okay. 
it doesn't seem that bad anymore. <laughs> I guess I'll, I'll, go, I'll walk in. I'll just be like, okay, I guess I'll just start. Uh, uh, okay, you walk in. You, uh, let me just describe the situation. I'm gonna find this. Okay. All right. No, it's not here. Now that I've kind of read it a little bit more importantly. Uh, um, so there are a number, uh, there's, um, a pair of tables, some benches along bar. Uh, there's a bartender, uh, weathered bartender and a, a woman, um, serving the patrons. There are two doors in the back of the room. Um, there's some steps that go upwards. Um, there's a woman, uh, dangling her feet off the edge of the balcony. You... Kind of maybe suspect that she's a working woman. That. Uh, um, a lot of the people you kind of suspect are gang members just based on their appearance and their general, like, attitude. Um, you do notice in the corner um, a large half uh, ogre. Um, he's kind of sitting yeah, alone. I don't, want to, I don't want to know what his other half is. Right. Um, there are a couple guys playing cards by the door, and then you do notice, like, they're some people are cleaning up this, uh, mess. Uh, uh, the people playing cards are all kind of, like, joking with it. Oh, that was a fight! Yeah! <laughs> wonder what was gonna happen with that. Hmm. Yeah. Um. Uh, somebody comes up to you. This is, like, general... You you you're new you new here, aren't you? Uh, uh yeah 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 new yep. <laughs> Who are you? What's your name? Oh uh 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 uh. How is your name uh, that hard? Look, uh, uh I uh you know um. What is your name? Uh, Shemlock Helms. Okay, Shemlock. What do you got there? What do you uh? What what do you got for interesting stuff? Uh, what? Uh, excuse me. Yeah, what do you got that's interesting? Show me your stuff. Show me your goods. Uh, I got a I got a book. Books are stupid. <laughs> that's what the last guy told me. Yeah, he probably was right. You should listen to him. Who was it? Of the guy down at the stables. Filming. Yeah, no, he he's got it right. Okay. What else okay. do you have? Show me what you have. I got this torch. I yes. tried to show him this torch too, but he didn't didn't want to have any of it. Are you taking? Are these things all in the bag of holding? Yeah. Okay. I mean, they go to grab the the bag of holding from you and like. Okay. Look, this is just, my bag, bud. Yeah. No, we inspect everything. That's our right. And they're like, like he's grabbing it. I don't know if you want to fight the grab. He's like starting to shove his hand down. Okay, I don't know what you're looking for in there, but uh, but you're not gonna find much. Uh, what? Uh. Oh, it's empty. It's stupid. All right, whatever. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I, I I don't carry a lot on me. Uh. Couple of books, you know. Looks like you did an instrument there. That's stupid. Yeah, I I play a place. Play stupid. Some music. I don't know. Don't. No, I hear it. Okay. All right. Well, I don't know what you're here for, but. Uh, I'm just I'm just here, just passing through. Just you know, I, I just thought I'd stop for the night and. Yeah. Whatever. Um, we don't want no shenanigans here. Yeah, I don't. I mean, look at me. I don't. Do I, I will send Burl after you. Do you see him over there? That guy in the corner. Do not. Oh make yeah, me the. Call uh, him after you. Yeah, uh, I got quit. Um, what's his other half? We don't ask that question. You know, the last oh, guy don't. who asked that question, Burl pounded him. He beat the crap out of him, so we don't ask that question. Nobody oh, asks. Okay. okay. Yeah, you don't ask. Nice. Uh, that's a good thing to know. Thanks for that. Yeah, you're welcome. It's just like Fight Club. Don't ask about Fight Club. Okay. 
Okay. I don't, I don't know what Fight Club is, but exactly. I'm, I won't ask about it. Don't. All right. Uh. So. The uh. That guy like walks. He like stands off, and um, the little the bartender guy just comes over, and he's like, "I'm I'm really sorry. They've kind of taken over the place, and I, I can't really." You know, I can't really stop them. They're kind of jerks. What, what can I help you? Uh, yeah, I was um actually curious to, what, what happened here? I, there's a couple of dudes on the floor. I saw some guys oh, being carried yeah. out. Um, so they they do that that cross examination to uh they and pretty much take any good stuff from people and uh, there were two young. Oh ladies uh two elves i think an elf and a tiefling i think that uh were here just they yeah. they were they kind of resisted and um there's a little bit of a fight they, they killed some of them i'm not sure how wise they that killed was. them yeah mm, i'm Whoa, not sure how wise okay. that was but that's what they did um they just they went upstairs to uh, sleep it off and they killed them, and then they went upstairs. Yeah. In the same building. Yep. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah, that sounds like Kaifira. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who the tiefling is, but. <laughs> hey, Kaifira was almost dead. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, I guess I found him. I don't know where my horse is, though. Which, by the way, Sarah, I know I didn't say it, but I thought about it afterwards. Aaron Ari and I set up a watch. <laughs> so, like, she watched while I did my four hours, and then I watched while... She... Her, you know. Oh, no. Because I don't know how long she needs to sleep. I think she has to sleep the full eight hours. Yeah, so it'd make more sense for her to... Let me just take my four and then do her eight. But yeah, no, there's totally a watch happening. <laughs> all right, all right. Uh, uh, in in keep bar barkeep. Yeah. Yeah. What what can I do for you? You want some food? Uh, do you have? Do you happen to have a room available? The the ladies took the last room. I'm really sorry, we we don't have a lot of the the gangs kind of took over a lot of this. She steals the my gang horses. has taken over the spaces. And then she takes the last room. <laughs> you weren't here. I, uh... Are there any other ins? Are there any? Uh, I I hear that there's a lot of people leaving. Are there any uh, like abandoned houses? I mean, you probably could walk around and find one. Oh, okay. Sounds like a good idea. Maybe I'll do that. <clears throat> do you want some food or anything, sir? I mean, I, I maybe could, uh... I mean, we got a little supply room if you want to sleep there. It's not, doesn't really have a bed or anything. But it's away from everything else? It's just back here. It's just like, it's right, it's that door right there. Does it get used often? No, it's just got supplies in it. I'll Wait, take it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, Just like three <clears throat> silver pieces. For a supply room? Yeah, on, I man. mean, the normal room rate's pretty high. Or it's higher than that, so. How big is it? It's not very big. I didn't get dimensions, but it's just barely enough for you to lie down. And... Oh. I want two silver pieces. Fine. Go ahead. Take it. <laughs> All right. I just really don't like typing in going down by you. I, I was at 52. Mm. Three silver pieces would put me at 49. I have to retype the whole thing. 
Wow. I don't know if that's a good enough reason, but whatever. So, uh, you <laughs> it's go... It's a good enough reason for me to save right? one silver piece. Right? So, you, uh... You... Are you going to bed? You're pretty tired. Um... I mean, you maybe get some food. Yeah, I'll eat in the supply closet. Okay, so you go to on bed. On the floor. I'm just sitting on the floor, just, like, eating food. Uh, I just wanna... There's probably no water around. I probably don't need the cloak of the manta ray on it now. Um, let's see here. Is there anywhere I could hide the bag of holding in this room? Do an investigation. Like, what's in this room, I suppose, is what I really want to okay. know. This contains modest supplies for running a small inn, including cleaning devices, spare candles, and spare kegs. Spare kegs? Yeah. Like an empty keg? Yeah. I mean, do you want to investigate more to see what else is there? Sure. I really just want to try and find a hiding place for my bag of holding. Okay, we'll do investigation. Okay, well, that's a... 16. Um, you do notice that there's a loose floorboard. Perfect. I hope nobody else knows about this. Because that would really suck. Mm -hmm. Are you going to open up the loose floorboard? Yeah. I should make <clears throat> you do a strength check. That would be funny. Um, you find a little sack in the floorboard. There's already a sack down there? There's a little sack. What's in it? Um, eight... Illyrium pieces, 57 gold and 47 silver. 57 gold pieces? I don't know, I just that's just what the module thing says. I hope uh, it makes okay. you have to retype some really funny numbers. <laughs> Yikes. <sighs> okay, what was it? 57 gold? Yeah. Uh, uh, we can say, instead of 8 Illyrium, we can just go with 4 platinum. Isn't that the same exchange? <laughs> no, not at all. What? What's a platinum? Is it ten? A platinum, platinum is, is ten, 10 gold. gold. But how much is an Illyrium? It's like in between uh, a silver and a gold. Oh. Like it's like five silver pieces. Is. Okay. Well. Let's just say. Sixty gold pieces, and take out the Illyrium. It's just too much to think about, and forty-five silver. Uh, 45 silver. Yep. Um, Kaifira, do a uh, perception. Are you doing the first watch or is Arenari? Arenari is doing the first watch because oh, okay. I only need four hours. Right. Uh, is is the is the floorboard floorboard uh, big enough to put the bag of holding in? Okay, I want to put that in there. Alright, um... So, you do your... Okay, you go to sleep. Era, Kaifiri, you do your four hours of sleep. Nothing seems to happen during the four hours. Okay. Um, then you wake up, Arenari goes to sleep, do perception. Ten. Um, so, I, I'm gonna say this, because you were pretty banged up. You don't, you, you kind of actually fall back asleep. You were just like, you thought you were ready, you did your four hours, but you were not really, you know that feeling. So... You, uh, you, you fall back asleep. You underestimated, uh, your... Yeah. The, uh, yeah. Um. Hey, we killed four guys. Yeah, no, it was, I mean, you guys were pretty bruised, let's be honest. And you traveled that whole day. I mean, there was like, two of you, You though. had a big day. Yeah, we traveled a lot, and then we beat four guys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Like, 
you should go back and watch last week's episode when it goes up. Yeah, someday when it happens. Uh, when Premiere is not a jerk anymore. Okay, so you fall back asleep uh, for a couple hours. Um, you wake up in the morning. Okay, everyone wakes up in the morning. Do, do, oh, do, we all wake morning. up at the same time? I don't know when you wake up. Teddy, you I wake hope. up in the morning because you know what? That closet is right next to the downstairs, so... Yikes. You know. So Teddy's it's, actually it's up on time closet. for uh, Everything's so loud, Right? Dude. Like, and they, they kind of have to, like, get in there to get a couple, so they're like, I'm sorry, I have to get this thing. I have to... Oh, come on, I rented this room for two whole silver pieces. Right, that's why it's two whole silver pieces. Oh, okay. true. <laughs> right. Okay. So you, uh, you, um, are you gonna come out for breakfast? Mm. Okay, and Kaifira and Arinari, what are you doing? You wake up? I'm, I'm gonna say that we're gonna have some of our rations that we would have brought with us. Okay. For breakfast. And when we go downstairs, we're essentially going downstairs and out the door. Like, we're not staying for breakfast <laughs> sounds like a bad idea okay but as, huh okay teddy what are you doing i guess i'll get up and head on into the main room into the into the yep. into the in portion roll perception <clears throat> boy that floor really 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 did suck to sleep on oh that's 27? <laughs> really? 27? Oh, what? You rolled a 19. Oh, okay, yeah, you was... notice... Oh, wait, no, perception. No, that was that was an 8. Perception's plus 5, so it's a 24. Okay, My... you notice Kaifira and the, the girl from um, the tavern that was with Terrell Nud come down the stairs. Like, they're, like, super focused on not staying. Out the door. <laughs> <laughs> hey, horse thief! Nope, just 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 keeping going. What? Where are you going? You stole my horses. Hey, uh, okay, Fira, isn't that your friend back there? We're not staying in this building. I heard you killed some guys last night. Still not staying in the building. Like I'm just out the door. Uh, Aaron, are is just go, come on, Teddy. Just, just but I was gonna get food. Okay, okay. We'll meet you outside. I guess I'll, I'll fall. I'll, I'll, I'll walk out the door. Like, Javier's just, like, heading over here and ducking in whatever alleyway this is. Okay, Arinari follows. And, and uh, Teddy, I'm also following? Yeah, I mean, Arinari's just like, hey, come on, dude. So, uh, Kaifira, you kind of stole my horses the other day. Borrowed. Well, you, you haven't given worry, them back yet. We've replaced the one that died. <laughs> one of them died. Okay, that was the one that I saw that was dead on the road. We've got a replacement for it. I mean, haven't have you have you checked out this town? It's pretty pretty crazy. Oh yeah, I heard all kinds of oh, crazy rumors about bandits and stuff. Yeah, no, and the I whole get town. Here and it turns out it's just guy fear killing people. Whew. I, it's crazy. No, no that's. That's unfair, Teddy. That's not fair. There's, there's they were gonna going to take on. my gun. <laughs> Kaifira? Yeah, I mean, they didn't take any of my stuff. Yeah, it's all in your bag of holding, isn't it? I mean, they didn't yeah. know what to look for. Ooh, that's probably true. <clears throat> These bandits aren't very smart, are they? I don't know. The one in... I, I assume he's with them in the stable wasn't too bad. <laughs> The drunk guy. Yeah. The one that I pawned off my magic beans to. I wasn't there for that, so okay. Yeah, I gave him my magic beans. I told him that they'd make him strong beans. and invincible. <laughs> I mean, he, he only charged it. us two silver. And he was going to make me pay a hundred gold. <laughs> he must have gotten drunk or drunker as he <laughs> progressed through the day. Well, it doesn't matter. I gave him some phony magic beans. I mean, they are magic beans, but... I hope we get the you get your horse back before he finds that out. <clears throat> so, oh, that's right. I had to buy uh, another horse. Do we have a plan for this? No. 
town? No, my next idea was to just barge into the house. Into the elder's house. Or yeah. find Hill Nord. Wait, what's the what's well, in the I elder's house? Uh, the the guy. In I mean, I've got some information. There's like, uh, four or five big head dudes that we should probably take care of. <laughs> like Galen, Galen, Galen is in the elder's house. So is Hill Nord. We have already talked to the town priest. We aren't going back there again, yet. Why? What's wrong with him? He's a little creepy. I don't know. He's. He's not very priest-like. You know when you think of a priest? You know, I don't... He doesn't give me that vibe. Ladies like us should just be in pretty dresses. Okay. I don't know what that means, but... <laughs> not out adventuring. What What have you learned, Petty? What... Well... <laughs> That half orc guy, that half ogre guy. He's half ogre. Whoa, I kind of now, that up. I don't know what his other half is, but I'm told not to ask. Him, so that's fair. That's all you, I thought you had for. Him. Um, there's there's a couple of head dudes. Which well, which head dudes? What did? How did you learn this? Oh, uh, I talked with some people in the last town I went through. The, the town of dwarves or whatever. Uh, that's the town we didn't go to. Yeah, we went the other way. You went the other? There's another way to get here. Yes. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Oh, I met this really cool guy. This really cool dwarf. His name is Stubby. Uh, he's the mayor of a town now. What town is that? Uh, hold on. Uh, Reedsboro Bend. Where you must have went through it. You you must have went through it to get here. I, it was like the first town as you leave. Oh, oh the one where we just kept. Oh. oh. But you just you just left them. Yeah. Oh. I'm sure this town is now some cosmic joke to some payback for my having done that, but you know, whatever. Karma. It's karma. Mm -hmm. You gotta watch out for that. <laughs> So much karma. That's what I've learned. Or that's what I mean. I'm hoping to learn about his karma. <laughs> so what do we do now? Well, what what do we know? What should we figure out? Are there other things we should learn? Well. I mean, we just know uh, what are the things that we know, Kaifir. We, we found that we went to the, the church. Galen. He's a human who's kind of the head of all of this. Uh, Hilnord is the assassin. Also a human with a flowy green cloak. Um, and that for some reason, Hilnord is working with Galen. Okay. But we don't know what Galen can do or why Hilnord might be working with him. I think it's Pilinor. Pilinor. Either way. Yeah. And we went to the church. Yeah. That was the Fedric. Feldric. Feldric, yes. Was he? Okay. Um, was he what? I can't remember who he was talking to before we got I there. I don't know either. It might have been one of the thugs. One of the bandits. But, I mean, he no, he wasn't talking to anyone. It was, um, he had two guards in the... Oh, okay. Sure. And yeah. they were talking with, like, one of the bandits or something. Okay. Um... Oh, do you know anything else, Teddy? Mm, that's all I remember. Okay. I don't know. I mean, we can go to the mayor's house. Um, to the elder's house, I guess. That sounds... Is the Elder's House where the bandit leader is? <clears throat> yeah. Part of me had hoped that we would run into Hillenord separately from Galen, but... I mean, that just doesn't sound like a good idea. Just barging right in? I have no good ideas. 
Yeah, I could. I I kind of got that when I In got here. <laughs> I was told that you killed like a four people in the tavern. Uh, the the church guy Feldrick was also looking for someone to kill. Um, I think it was one of the people. Do you remember? He won. He didn't really think that we could do it because we're women. No, so. that was killing the bandits. That. He didn't want anyone else. He wanted someone to kill one of the bandits. Mm -hmm. I think Galen, maybe. Yep, but we needed to find some menfolk who could do it. Right. Yeah. I mean, we found Teddy. He's a manfolk. A man. Are you a man, He's Teddy? a something. Should we check? I don't know. TMI. <sighs> well, if we're taking out the bandits, I got... I got I got an idea for the for the half ogre. Okay. Now, it may or may not work. Does he spend all of his time in the tavern? We just got. I, I mean, we as far as we here, can tell, that's all we've seen. Okay. But we we've only been here overnight. Okay, we'll see. We'll see if that and and then uh, the 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 guy down at the stable. He's a, he he another bandit, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I've got an idea for him. So that takes out two. Possibly two. Probably at, at least the stable guy. That should be easy enough. The half ogre, I don't know. It, that 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 could possibly go south. Um, but do we need to kill all of them, or do we just need to... Well, I mean, it's got to be... We gotta at least take out some of them because if we just barge into the elders' house and then they get word to everybody else and then we have all the all the big bandits on us at once, that that's not gonna end well. True. What's your plan? Okay. Uh, for the guy down at the stable, he seems to be alone most of the time, just chilling down there. From from what I remember from last night. Uh, I didn't see anybody else, so we could we could go down and sneak attack him. You know, get him all quiet, like wouldn't even know what hit him. That shouldn't be too hard. Now, the half ogre in the tavern seems quite irritable to when people ask him about what what the other half of him is. So if we can trick him into thinking that uh, some of the other bandits in the tavern are are talking about him. He might just uh, take out a couple of them for us. Or the um, bandits might take him out. That's can better. I just point out that just about everyone would find it rude to be asked what the other half of them is? Yeah, that's why we that's why we get him to think that the bandits... Yeah, no, I'm just saying in general. I mean, but you're an elf, so it's not like you're half elf. Again, I realize, but those that are half of something would find probably find it rude to be asked what the other half of them is. Oh, okay, I don't see how that re relates to... Okay, anyway. So that takes care of two of them. How many more were there? We don't There's know. The I mean, I don't... Should we see if we can find someone who can tell us more? Someone local? We could try, but we also don't want to make our presence overly known at this point, I guess. Like, as far as most people know, we're just passing through. Um, so... Uh, what if we just check out, like, the general store or something? There must we be a store that. here. I mean, just for, like, information gathering? To see what else we need to do because before we like i don't i don't know about you all this is really my first 
time in any kind of situations like this. Oh, yeah, this we is, do this all the time. This is not <laughs> what Talon kind of towns. This is a normal like. thing. But it seems like I would want to know, see what I can find out before I implemented a plan. Oh, who needs a plan? You just, I mean, you it just would... kind of, you just kind of do, and then everything just falls into place. That's how it works. <laughs> and we sometimes almost die several times in the process, which you've already gotten taste of with the owl bears. Yeah, I didn't really. <sighs> no one really enjoys that part of our lack of planning. Uh, not not what you signed up for, huh? <laughs> uh, I mean, not fully. I mean, I I just think that. It's worth checking out this is the whole town to see like what else we're missing in case there's something we should. I mean, it wouldn't hurt to see if there's a general store. Yeah, maybe get some supplies. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. See what they got. Um... Should we just ask someone or just wander around? No, we should probably ask someone. Oh, uh, come on. It's got to be at the town square, right? Well, let's start there. Let's look in the sea. Do, do, do. Oh, that's you. Is that you? Okay. Don't move me. I can move me. I have the power. <laughs> <clears throat> Any of these uh buildings uh store? Just a wait, just a minute. Just a minute. Oh, that explains all the things. I wonder where that rich guy lived. What rich guy? Oh, I met some rich uh rich guy in the other town. Hmm. Um, so in just a general investigation. Eight. Seventeen. Um, so, Typhira and Aaron already noticed that 26 is the store. <laughs> I was standing right in front of it. Huh. Mm, no, nah, I'm not looking like a store. Just give me two seconds. Just look in. There's nothing. Okay. Yeah, it's just like Teddy walks up to it, reads the sign, General. Nah, sounds like a barracks. <laughs> Where's the store? Okay! Um, so you enter, are you going into the store? Yeah. Okay, you notice it's a boxy building. Um, looks like there's an upstairs. Um, and then the, the main floor, which is the store. Um, uh, you, you look just like a general like look at this. You can tell that there is not much in this store. It's pretty empty. Um, there's a tiefling behind the counter. Um, there is a, you do notice a dagger and a, a long sword on display in the corner. On display? Do they look nice? Um, they look like regular old common stuff. Um, I mean, I could always use another dagger. The, uh, the tiefling says, hello, um, are you, uh, just, I'm really sorry that we don't, we don't really have a lot, we, uh, you know, all things considered, uh, we've kind of been emptied, um, from the situation that, you know, I don't, I don't know who you're with, so, we don't have a lot of supplies right now, I'm really sorry. Is there something I can help you with? 
Well, <laughs> do we have a deal for you? There may be something we can help you with. Okay. Um, I'm always willing to, you know, trade or whatever. Uh, see, we're uh, not too fond of these bandits in this town. Neither am I. Neither am I. Uh, I see, I see. So uh, we're hoping to uh, get any information on them that we can. Uh, as as a, a general store merchant, you've probably been here since they got here. So you probably know the most about them, would you say? Oh, um, I have noticed a few things that, um, uh, there's, uh, you know, I don't know if you've, uh, passed by the house it's just across the way there, but, um, don't go, don't go near that. There, I don't know what's in there. I'm not fully sure, but it's really scary. Um, Which house, house is this? Um, like, if you were to uh, you were put to a quantifiable next... number on this house? <laughs> I would call it 17. 17, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to have to walk through town and count up to 17. And Okay, yeah. Okay, I got it, though. Um... 17 house, yep. Yeah. What's so scary about it? Spooky. Just let me find my notes. Let me find those. Um, there is a one of the the gang is living there. Um, people call him the cannibal. I don't know much about him other than he's really scary. And, oh yeah, uh, I heard about that guy. I just forgot about him. He didn't to, sound that scary to me. To be avoided. I don't understand what he is, but they take him out like he only he does not come out very often but when he does people die we do not mm, no um uh you know that Pilinor um is, we've uh, heard of him where is yeah, he stay he, he stars you know it's kind of funny he was staying He was mostly staying with the in the tavern, but he's been spotted a lot more down by the church. Recently, it's kind of weird. I don't, I don't know what's going on with that. When you say by the church, do you mean the house next to the church, twenty three? mean to speak poorly of religious people oh we've met the priest go ahead um i think he and feldrick i don't know what he and feldrick have going on but there's there's something this is <laughs> you know it gives me the willies i don't really i don't i don't want to speak bad of the almighty or the you know but i, I will say that it's it's, it's a little bit awkward Harinari. yes yes I think we're gonna have to go see the priest again. Hmm. Okay. Well, <laughs> that's, that's unfortunate. Very. Um. Yeah. Um. How about the uh, half half ogre? Oh, Furl. Yeah. I mean. He's a half ogre, so he's scary, but he's. He doesn't. He doesn't concern me as much. He's. He's a lot more. He's a lot of talk, and, you know, definitely don't want to get. I personally. Personally, I do not want to get in a scrape with him, but. Uh, he what about not Bill? make me wet my pants when I think of him. <laughs> what about Bill and the guy in the stables? Ugh, he's just an asshole. Fair. Um, and what about Galen? I've heard he's just a human. He is a human. He's he's not spotted a lot. He tends to stay, kind of, you know, in his little, in that in the the. 
elder's house that he's taken over like a jerk. Um, do you so know if he can do anything exciting? Any magical powers or abilities to be wary of? Um, or is he just a jerk? That's his magic power. Hmm. No, that's Billman's magic power, apparently. <laughs> Um, he just, he just has that kind of personality that, like, makes people want to do things for him. That's what I've noticed. I will also say that it's really weird that, um, the bandits have kind of come through and cleared out everyone but the church. You know, the church has been kind of... Hmm. Hmm, interesting. Yeah. Because, you know, the church usually has, like, valuables and stuff, you know? Right. A question about the priest. When we spoke with him, he mentioned he had a ring stolen. Do you know anything about his ring? In I, general, I mean. I'm not saying that I you would... don't really. I I mean, I go to church because this is what you do here, but... I'm not really... I'm not really up on the ring thing. It could be. But, over, I mean, overall, the church hasn't really suffered that much. Hmm. Interesting. The out of curiosity, the dagger you have on display, is there anything special about it? Well, I mean, it's special in this sense. Um, uh, I don't I don't know if you've uh you've been to the inn at all. Oh, we were. Um Yeah, she's yeah, she's uh She's a uh, main name for herself already. Yeah, we may end. have killed four of the bandits last night. Uh, R and R and I. Well, I mean that doesn't make me sad. I don't know if you've you've uh, come across the innkeeper. He he tries to hide a lot. Um, it's not the he's not. He typically works behind the scenes, anyways. But he's not seen very often. But he had a bodyguard that um was killed. Um by. Uh, Galen and his men and uh, uh, the Vilman came and, and basically forced us to trade with him the, those items for some money not that we really had a lot of money you know but you don't know if there's anything special about him you know, other than that they were the this bodyguard's uh I don't possession. think so. I mean, I think they're just common. May I take a, look, a closer sure. look at the dagger? Yeah, yeah. Investigation or Investigation. perception? Or... 22. Great. Uh, it looks like a common, regular, run-in-the-mill dagger. Everyday That's fair. dagger. Okay, yeah, I just oh, I put it back. I'll take it. <laughs> of course. Uh, let me just uh, pull up my prices here. Oh no. <laughs> oh. He's uh sorting through some folders and such that are organized, but not like it's just like the internet's a little bit slow. Just let me, okay. Just, uh, we're working on it. It's coming up. I just want to give you a fair price. So if I just, just give me a minute here to just wait for the internet to, uh, I think it's this one. Um, while you're looking up your price, Hillnord, the, Hillenord, the assassin, um, he's a human as well. Is there any magic that he wields or any? Magical items. Well, everyone likes to point out his green cloak. He he does have a green cloak. Yes. Um, I don't know about not his if he has magical items. Um. This is a dagger, so um, it's like one gold piece for the dagger is. One gold piece, huh? Mm -hmm. 
That seems that sounds like a fair price. Let me just get my uh Hey uh hey Kyfira. <laughs> uh, could you spot me a gold piece? Hey uh Teddy, where's your bag? Um somewhere safe. Uh does it have your bandor in it? It's a possibility. I hand the I hand the shopper the, the, the Yeah, the gold mm -hmm. piece. Yeah. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh Okay. Hey, Teddy, did you happen to leave it where you slept last night? Yeah, I did. So, one way or the other, we have to go back to the tavern? Oh, yeah, that's probably true. Good job. I'm not setting foot back in that tavern. <laughs> okay, well, that's uh Okay. Unless it's a fight we know we can win. Because we did that last night. And we almost died. Jeez, oh. you, you really need to learn to pick your fights, Kaifira. He wanted to take the gun. I just got it. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't understand you. I'm not good at the whole druid thing. I might as well have something I can try to be good at. Okay, well, I got another dagger. I'm feeling good. All right. Um, yeah, yeah, I, I don't know what else I can tell you, um. Well, I guess our next step is to the church. Okay. Creepy priest, here we go. All right. No, twenty-one. Twenty-four. Twenty-four was the church. Twenty-one is the elders' house. Where is twenty-four? Literally right across the road from twenty-six. Just to the left. She's already okay. put her character on top okay. of it. Okay. Okay, so uh, you enter. You just going straight in. Yep. Okay. Just a minute. Let me just. This one is the 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 most weird. Okay, and I'm gonna just pull. Oh, I gotta pull one more thing up. No, nope, that's not that one. But I'm gonna do this. So, you enter um, the main uh, area of the church. Um, it's a, just a large rectangular room. Um, you know, the little smoke coming out of the chimney. Uh, you kind of open into a spacious hall filled with benches. Um, you see a lectern at the far end with a small honor, with a small altar, altar, altar <laughs> that you know seems to uh, worship some god that doesn't. You can't really make out what it is. And then there are two doors that exit the hall. Um, you notice that there's um, two men standing guard. Um, They're just carrying long swords. Um, one of them is wearing banded mail. Um, just a minute. I want to see one other. Oh, um, as you approach, um, you kind of like enter. You, you kind of see, kind of a little like wisp of like some green cloak, like. Kind of like pass by through the side of the the through a side door or something. You just it's kind of catches your eye, but you you can't really make out a lot of it. Um. Um. I want to sn uh, sneak and follow and see if I can follow it. I'd um. like to do the same. Okay, listen here. So you're gonna leave the church now? 
Oh, he was leaving the church? Yeah, he was, like, leaving the church. I'll let Teddy do that. Okay. I want to go talk to the creepy priest again. I don't need to uh, talk to the priest anyway. Okay, so I'm going to say... Uh... Is it investigation to uh, follow someone? Teddy? I do not know. I think it's investigation. Investigation, maybe... Survival? Oh, yeah. Maybe not. I don't know. I would, uh... There's, um, um, a wiki uh, how on how to follow someone on empty streets. I think it is survival because you're following tracks and stuff. Okay, roll survival. Okay, but I won't be stealthy about it. Okay, so roll stealth first. Okay, that's... Uh, 24. Okay, you were super stealth. Okay. Survival. Mm-hmm. Yikes, it's like... Uh, eight. You can't really figure out where he went. Like, you, you get down there, but the, the... Doesn't seem to have left any tracks or anything. Just kind of, like, disappeared. Yeah. He's slippery. Very slippery. Mm. Am I already, have I already left the uh like you're just outside the church by the time you get out there you like you can't you go like outside the church you like get in your like you s s s hunker down and you go to like look to see if you can figure out track and you you can't even okay well I mean if I'm outside I'm gonna head to I want to check out the the cannibal's house <laughs> Of course you do. Okay. Um, Kyfira, you, mm -hmm. um, the, the, the guard, uh, approaches you. It's like, what, what, can I help you, miss? What are you doing here again? Oh, uh, we were wondering if we could talk to the priest again, please. Uh, yeah, let me go see if I can, uh, Feldrick's free. Any, uh. Is it Feldrick or Beldrick? Feldrick with an F. Oh, see, it sounded like a B every time you said it last time. I'm gonna give you a B. Yeah, okay. Well, anyways, so he walks off. Um, well, he's walking off. Could I just do, like, a check around the church to see if it looks like it, things have been taken out of it? Sure, investigation. 17. Okay, I mean, looking at a church that looks like, you know, they still have paintings on the wall, like, pictures on the wall. Not, like, the Sunday school pictures of the little kids, either. It's, like, they're nice, like, there's some yeah. artwork on the wall, and the, the cross is still, not a cross, but some kind of iconography for the unnamed god is there. Like, it doesn't really seem that they're missing a whole lot of stuff. Um, and then the, the guard comes back. Uh, okay, Feldrix will see you in his, uh, his room again. His office. Follow me. So, so you, we... yeah, you follow. <laughs> um, he sits you down in the chair. He, you know, shows you to the room. Mm -hmm. A few minutes later, Feldrick comes back. Oh, hello, hello again. Um, back for some. Would you like some wine? Can I offer you some wine? No, thank you. Though we do have a couple of questions. Um, we, we've heard t tell that Hillenord, one of the bandits, tends to visit here often. Is that true? Is it true? Um, I mean, I've seen him a few times. I, I don't know about often. He's a... steps by occasionally as all of the uh, Galen's men do to um, make sure that we're working in accords with their overrule of the town. 
Do you know where Hilnor stays? Hilanor. 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 Okay. Uh, Anyways. Yeah. He, um, <laughs> stay, he tends to stay in the inn. Uh, that, I think, or the tavern, I believe. Is a, he's got a room there. In the tavern, which is not necessarily a place that people normally stay, but he does stay there. There's a tavern besides the inn? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Where would we find that? It's, um... It's, um... 31. 31. Spot 31. It's a little behind. It's a little out of the way, but... And one other question. We, we just stopped in the general store and it seems so... Actually, I so lied. Empty. I'm gonna make it 9. 31 nine? is a bad spot for a tavern. Because it's just behind the inn that is an inn tavern. 9. Yeah. yeah, I'm looking for... Oh, there it is. Yeah. Um, how is it that your church isn't as full of bandits and it seems to still have all of its... Uh, property? I mean, you still have, like, your paintings and things. Bandits seem to have a penchant for taking anything that's nice. This is a house of worship. I mean, even even bandits understand that you don't pillage house of worship. And I have lost things. I, I lost the ring that they've, they've stolen the ring. But it, it's just that there are, are some things that they, they haven't quite really... I guess found use for what would they do with art I mean it's art for them I mean what would they do with a ring um well I mean the ring is worth quite a bit it it, it does have some jewels and rubies and s s such that were um in, er, are encrusted in it that it, it's quite valuable and could be traded for um, wealth hmm. more than the paintings would be. Those are just simple paintings. I mean, that's all I have for questions. I don't know if Arinari has any questions. Um. Have you heard anything about this weird uh, uh, assassin type uh, person thing? Oh, oh yes, yes. That's uh, he stays in the house, uh, the house number seventeen. It's marked seventeen. Um, the assassin dangerous. thing stays in house seventeen. Not the assassin. The um, cannibal. The cannibal stays at house seventeen. Yes, I. I've heard that he's a cannibal and that he's not fully human. Quite strong. Hmm. Um, but, I mean... Any, anything to, um, you know, we just need to find that way to get rid of Galen. I think that uh, he's just had such a horrible impact on this town, this whole area. It's very unfortunate. Have you found any uh, any new people who have come to town who might be willing to take on fighting these? Uh, Our friend showed bandits? up last night, but we don't know if he'd be interested in such a thing. He's not very strong a man. That was some serious fight she just threw you, Teddy. Hey, you've been calling me horse thief <laughs> all Even evening. That's because you stole my horse. <laughs> I, my butt hurts after a while sitting in this chair. 
Why didn't you put a pillow I in the chair? I do cha- have a pillow on the chair, but it still is not the comfiest. Why don't you get a different chair? Because I don't really have a lot of comfy chairs. <laughs> For a long extended sitting, unless I sit on the couch and then it's too way, far away from the can. It's just, there's a lot. There's Fair. A lot of, a lot Fair. Of yeah. Um, so, yeah, Aaron Arden doesn't really have a lot. Okay. Well, thank you for the information. Uh, you're welcome. Um, you know, if you, you come across anyone who can help us out of this predicament. We're trying to help, that is. Okay. Um, Teddy. Uh, yeah. Are you stealthing? I mean, I, I was stealth before. So you Do you want me to roll again? The whole way there, or are you. Yeah. Just walk. Okay. It might be all. Alright, you can keep your stealth if you want. Um, Just sneak all the way over there. Nobody's, hopefully nobody spots me. Just a minute. Okay. Um, make a, like a wisdom check. A wisdom check? Mm-hmm. Oh, yikes. Turns out the cannibal is the first one we kill. <laughs> Natural 20. Really? That's how it's done, boyos. Wow. You get to this house and you, like, you are getting the hebeous jeebies, jeebies that you've ever gotten in your whole entire life. Like, this house creeps you the F out. Um, like, you have a sense of just foreboding. Um, the house is weathered. Um, but looks overall in good shape um it seems like uh there's some kind of stove in there like just based on the outside perception view um it's got a chimney so it's probably got some yeah, sort of yeah it's got of... a chimney thing are you gonna like in the windows or nothing. Anything. Yeah, I won't try looking through a window. Okay, investigation. Yeah, this is not gonna be as good as. Or perception, I guess. Huh? Perception? I'm just trying to think about. It's not like you're digging through stuff. You're kind of like looking at. You're just looking through. Okay, perception ten. Okay, well, um, what you do see, um, is. Um, a couple of, uh, dog-like creatures sleeping near a stove, um, and a young man sleeping in a corner bed. The room looks, like, super messy, and there are some bones lying near the bed. Are there any windows closer to the bed? Um. Yeah, sure. There's another window that's closer to the bed. Uh, I'd like to look through that window so I can see the person laying in the bed better. Still looks so, like, like the first, the first, the first look through the window is like to get a general idea of the building mm-hmm. and stuff. And then now, when I look through this, this, the next window, I'm like specifically looking at this person. Yep, still looks like a, like a young man. Uh, let me just check one little thing. Okay, yeah, I know. Totally looks like a person sleeping. Totally just looks like a person, huh? Mm-hmm. How many stories is this building? Just the one. Just one story. Mm-hmm. And they're dogs sleeping? I think you said dog-like creatures. Uh, yeah, I did say dog-like creatures. Hmm. That's weird. Well, if that's all I get, that's all I get. I mean, I'm not going in there. I'm not risking anything. 
Uh, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm just, I'm gonna leave. Okay. And I don't know about any other places, so... Yeah. I guess I'll head back to the... The church and see if I can meet up with Kaifira again. Okay. Uh, Kaifira, what are you doing? Um... I'm thinking I'm gonna head to the tavern. To nine. Okay. Uh, I mean, you pass each other on the way, I'm gonna say. No, oh, hey, Kaifira, where are you going? What are you uh, doing? What's to, up? We're gonna What'd go to learn? the tavern. <laughs> well, if you'd let me speak, we're gonna go to the tavern to see if we can find Hilnord. Hilnor. Uh, which one's Hilnor? The assassin. Oh, okay, okay. The one with the green cloak? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I totally followed him. <laughs> Know exactly where he went. That's uh, you know, that's that's where I was. I I completely lost them. I was gonna say I, I don't believe that for a second. I, <laughs> I walked I walked out of the church and he was just gone. So I checked out the cannibal's house instead. Of course you did. Of course I did. What'd you find? Uh, there's some dogs in there and there's a dude sleeping. That's about it. Oh, there were some bones. I uh, I don't know. I don't I don't know where the name scary. cannibal comes from, but. Oh, yeah, and it was, like, super creepy. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. It's weird. It is very weird. Shall we go to the tavern? Or did you want to enact one of your plans? No, we can do that later. That okay. Can always, that can always happen later. To the tavern. All right. Um, the tavern... Wait, then what's 25? The inn? Yep. Yeah. Flash tavern? Yeah, the tavern is just a tavern. It's just a drinking establishment. Though apparently Hilnord has a... Hilnor has a, uh... Room there. Oh. Uh, well, at the tavern, not the inn. I slept in a supply closet. <laughs> yeah, okay. we got the last room. Yeah, I heard. Um, the tavern is a single, a small, single-story drinking establishment. Um, there's a barkeep in there who's the proprietor and his son. Um, he's a man, um, kind of keeps the, looks like he's keeping the, uh, the peace in this area. He, uh, does have a broadsword and a, a crossbow behind the bar, if you kind of notice. Um, there are four men in the, the main area, there are four men playing cards. Um, oh, this sounds like a lot like the inn. Yeah, no, there's a lot of gambling going on. Cool. Um, I mean, gambling, who would do that? <laughs> yeah, I mean... It... I don't know, Tenti, who would do that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I got. Uh, no one with a green cloak. No one with a green cloak. Okay, I guess we we'll go talk to the barkeep. Hello, how can I help you? Hi. I don't want no nonsense in here. Listen. Okay, do we look like some nonsense folk? You know what? I don't I don't take nonsense from anybody. That way it just keeps it all fair. Are you here for some fair. drink, some food? Food would be what time of day of it? What time a day? What it's yeah. probably like eleven. Um food would be wonderful. Alright, let me get some uh let me get some ale and some uh sandwiches. Uh. Uh. Okay, so he goes back. He uh gives you some, brings back some ale and sandwiches. Uh yeah. Um, I heard that um, the the green the green cloak guy uh stays here sometimes. Ah, uh, Pillinor. Um, where the. Okay, fear go. 
Yikes. Awkward. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard he was staying. Uh, he might. Uh, Did your he might friend be just disappear? Here. Yeah, that's weird. She doesn't usually I don't do even... that. How does that happen? I don't. I mean, we had these magic stones once where you you held one and it teleports you to the other one. Oh. But I think I think we I think they went with one of our other uh, uh, group members and they just kind of. Left. Wow, well, I haven't intense. seen him for a while. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, it's weird. So, uh, but anyway, wait, uh, what was? Oh, I gotta sneeze again. sneeze again i'm super sneezy we're just gonna we're gonna give kathir a minute here i'm gonna pause i'm gonna pause my sound for a second oh there he is. Hey. i still don't have roll 20 but anyways okay well uh, oh, all the bandits are dead uh we saved the town we did it without you Okay, what was the question again? I forgot. Oh, you asked about uh, Pelinor. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, he uh, he frequents here a lot. Sometimes just sleeps in a corner. Whatever. Oh, he they, just they sleeps just, in a corner. Yeah, I mean, they're bandits. He just, you know, finds a spot, curls up. Sometimes he shows us out of our bed. It's awkward. But we, we've been trying to deal with it. It's a little bit touch and go. But, um... He's mostly been spending his time over at the church, uh, which, you know, I don't know if you've met that minister, but he's mostly just concerned with tithes, you know, the tithes that you pay. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I feel like they deserve each other. It's strange. We just came from the church. She said that Hillenor visits there not very often. Yeah. I'm sure he does say that. I don't... I mean... The priest is a little bit weird. Yeah, we know. Or so least... he's not, like, here at any regular time. I mean, he sleeps here, but... Occasionally. It's a little bit, been a little bit less recently. Hey, do you know anything about that uh, creepy house across the street? I know that you need to stay away from it, and that the guy, the cannibal in there, is really super dangerous. Hey, do you know anything about this guy? I know that he's super dangerous. Super dangerous? And he's, he's just really strong dangerous. as you do not want to strong as fuck. I don't know oh. how strong fuck is, but that's strong. Do you know what he is? No, I. Yeah, I you just look not. like a dude to me. Mm, just look I, like a man being a dude. Uh. Just a guy being a dude. I, just I a dude being a guy. I think that you would be well advised to stay away from that. That's it's a mess you don't want. Does he ever leave the house? At night. He leaves at night. Mostly at night. Uh. <laughs> okay. I saw some dogs in there. Does he have dogs? Does he keep dogs? Yeah, two really scary as F dogs as well. Stay away huh. from all of them. I don't even know why you were that close to the window. Are you dumb? Are you? Are, do you have a death wish? <laughs> I mean, a little bit, maybe. That was kind of a dumb question. Does Galen ever show up here? Galen doesn't come out of his place a lot. He, uh, <laughs> pretty reclusive. 
now that he's got control of the town, you know, most of his, uh, his cronies do the work, and he kind of stays in the house. I don't see him come out. I don't see him in the town much at all. Um, do any of the uh, other bandits, like, you know, not like each other or anything? I mean, it seems like Pelinor and his, he has some, he has a bit of a posse, and, uh, I believe that Vilman is part of his posse. Um, they're a little... It seems like they kind of got recruited late. They're not part of Galen's original crew, so they might not have as much stake in Galen's plans from what I've seen, but I don't... I mean, it's hard to tell. They're all just kind of scary gang people. Is Helenor a reasonable person? Have you talked to him much outside of feeding him and him pushing you out of your bed on occasion? Can you define what reasonable means? I mean, he's an like if we... assassin, so... And if we gave him a, something to hunt, something out of the ordinary, do you think he'd be tempted to take his people and go? Possibly, I mean... What man doesn't respond to money? Or bribes? Hmm. Hey, Teddy. I don't have any money. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm aware. You've left it at the tavern. Hey, don't uh, be... In. Sorry. Don't, don't be going telling, telling people that. <laughs> Anyways. Do you think maybe we should talk to the assassin and see if he'd be interesting, interested in hunting a vampire? Uh, I'm sure that would cost a lot of money, a lot more money than uh, we I'm sure have. he'd find a lot of money along the way. Not to mention a challenge. I'm sure that's not a good enough reason. Hey, you want to take this job? You We can't pay you, but I'm sure you'll find enough money to cover it. Can I just have this side moment where I tell you that I tried to use my Surface touchpad to move the mouse on the desktop? It doesn't work. <laughs> I was like, why is the mouse not sh Oh, it's the wrong. Okay. Um, that's okay. At a wing right now, the server room has for two different servers, I've got two different mice just because one oh, of the yeah, ports yeah. in one server isn't good um, on the front of the server. And I keep trying to move the last time I was there, I kept trying to move that mouse mm. that was connected to the other server and I'm like, that not that's not gonna move this mouse. Yeah. <laughs> And who knows, maybe money isn't his the only thing that motivates him. Yeah, but maybe it is. If we can find if we can find him I I well, it's probably worth asking, I guess. I don't know. I mean, honestly, other than charging into the elder's house and going for it and seeing if I don't die I, my I other really, plan was to find really Helenor not, and either not a good idea. no you're right not but my other plan was to find Helenor and see if he could be reasoned with if he, we could either get him to turn on Galen or get him to take his people and go vampire hunting I, I mean, I don't think that's going to work, but I guess it's worth a try. I mean, it's better than uh, looking in the windows of a cannibal's house. I, I was gathering valuable information. Helen, or sorry, if Helenor returns for the evening, do you know roughly what time he shows up? He shows up at all times. I don't know. I and because he's been spending so much time at the church, he could come here tonight. He could not at all. Hmm. That's fair. So what do we do? 
we should do something. I'd like to find Hilinar myself. I think that might be our best bet before we go. But uh, do we have any idea where to find them? Here at the church, apparently. Well, I mean, we just went to the church and he left. And he's not here. Mm, that's true. So, do we wait for him somewhere, or do we try to take out some of the others? Well, hey, uh, you can't just be saying that. Some people might hear you and be like, oh, those guys are trying to take the bandits let's, down, and then the bandits just, might hear. And... Let's step outside and talk. Oh, I mean, I need to go to to the end to get to get my stuff. Oh, right. If we're gonna do anything too crafty. I mean, I don't really need need it. Yes, you do. I'm not going to. I don't have much money left. What did you spend all your money on? I mean, most of it's been going to the inns when we've been staying in towns, but... Why do you spend so much money on inns? We seem to be traveling a lot. Oh, that's weird. I haven't spent much money on an inn. I mean, I also did buy a couple things. Like, the gun was rather expensive. Oh, yeah. I'm sure it was. Strange how... Expensive things are expensive. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, Kaifira? Um, do a perception check. Who? You. You. Great. I saw nothing. I know nothing. That's what? a natural one. Oh. All right. Ooh, that's fun. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> Oh, you know. no. Something's missing. Am I missing something in my bag? I don't know. I'm gonna look for the gun. I'm gonna look. <laughs> That's the thing I'm gonna no, look for. No, you can't look for the gun because you don't know anything. You know nothing. I, I do know nothing. Great. Yeah, why would you? why would you just randomly look for a gun right now? That's weird. Wouldn't you keep I mean, your gun on? Like, who puts their gun in the bag? That's not handy anyways. Usually your gun would be, like, holstered on you. But anyway. Anyway. Uh. Great. Um, to the inn. What are we, are we just gonna stop and get I mean, what time today? is it? What time is it? I don't like, know. It's, like, early afternoon. Time? Maybe we could find that innkeeper. That they mentioned. I don't know how useful it will be, but... Didn't we talk to him when we first... Like, after... We killed the four guys? <laughs> I feel like we talked with him. No, I think that's just the, the bartender dude. Oh. Uh, I think that they someone was trying to say that there's an actual innkeeper who kind of hides. Hmm. I mean, we don't have to. I just, I mean, it might be interesting. No, it could be interesting. You're right. I'm just not sure how welcome the we are, you know, considering... We took out some of the bandits, and there are still some there. I mean, we don't 
have to. It's just a, I mean, we have to do something. We should not just stand here all day. That does not get much done. No, no, it doesn't. Teddy, what do you huh? think? We, what do you think we should do? Right now, currently. Mhm. Mm uh... We could also like maybe scope out the the elder's house and see, like, just do a little recon, retcon, recon, like without really going in. Another Are option. you stealthy? Um, yeah, are you particularly stealthy? No. No, not me. Nor am I. I mean, I could check it out. I mean, Do you I want to? to? Not particularly. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess if you're forcing me to, I can try. Well, I mean, we can go to the inn also. I'm just trying to think about, like... Uh, well, that's okay. Like I'll I'll take one for the team. That I'll go check sense. it out. All right, all right, go check it out. Jeez, I gotta do everything around here. I hope you don't die. Actually, let me just let me just check my. Do you want to be invisible? I can make you invisible for like an hour. I mean, I can do that too. Oh, okay. I mean, I was just trying to see if there's something I could do that would... I could be invisible. I can make my someone else invisible. I can make myself invisible maybe. I don't know. I'll just go, I'll just go check it out. Alright, go ahead. Let us we'll know. We'll be here. I'm a, I'm a stealth. Okay, roll some stealth. Uh, 27. Wow, uh, you're like, you think you're stealthy. I'm, I'm just a little stealthy. Okay. Uh, 21 is the building, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Um, as you approach the, the building, uh, 21, you notice... Um, uh, a green, a person with a green cloak. Go around the corner. And like, okay, I'm following it. Okay. I'm not losing him twice. Um, her, wait, wait, wait. Um, survival. Okay, I'm losing him a second time, guys. <laughs> Nine. I just I want to look at one little thing here. Where is it? Uh, it's kind of funny because you see him and then all of a sudden you don't. He's gone. Hmm. He's like incredibly stealthy. Weird. 
like almost as stealthy as me. Yeah. Crazy. Crazy how that happens. Well, I lost him a second time. <laughs> Shucks. Who saw that one come? Who, you, you, yeah, who could predict that one? Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to look in through some windows then. <laughs> Okay, it's a two-story building with a sloped roof and painted shutters. Uh, it's the nicest house in town. The shutters are closed, um, although um, you do see smoke rising from the chimney. Um, so you can't really see in much because all the shutters are closed. Hmm. No... How, how many doors in? Um, it's three doors down. Okay, that's not what I... Here's the house. There's just the one entry door. That's it? Yep. Nothing else? Nope, no, that's what it says. Just one. Just no, the like, one entry. door down to a basement or nothing? You can't see one. Right? I mean, you do mm, do a perception or an investigation. Uh, I'm going to say perception. You're just looking. Okay. Searching. 15. Okay. Through a little, like, slit. Like, the, the view's not great. You don't see a lot. It does seem like there are stairs in the house, which makes sense because there's enough stairs. Um, I'm gonna go do a. I'm gonna do a good old ding dong ditch. What What is that? I'm gonna knock on the door, then I'm gonna run away. <laughs> okay. You uh. I wanna knock on the door, and I'm gonna run away and hide, in in a spot where I can see the door. Okay. Um. Because this can only go well. Obviously. What up? What? Um. So you knock on the door. And uh, you run to the side. It takes a minute or two. What What do you want? Uh. Uh. This, uh, just a goofy looking guy opens up the door looks around he's got a sword just like the goofy the... looking guy yeah uh he's just like listen i don't what i will fight you he's holding up i will get one of the dogs do not mess with me <laughs> Villain does uh not Vilnin. Uh Galen doesn't appreciate having guests and visitors. Dogs is not good. Dogs then he slams good. the door shut. Hmm. That's not good. Ooh, I got a good idea, though. <laughs> I got a good idea. Oh, jeez. For a later date. For a later date. It'll be great. I got so many ideas going on. 
Hope you're ready. I hope you're ready, Sarah. Okay. For next time. Okay. <laughs> Help you write them down so you remember them, because we're not playing next week. Oh, no. Right? Okay. Uh, I don't... Where'd Kaipir go? I'm, I'm still in the tavern. Okay. The and original so is, tavern? I think... No, I, didn't you guys go outside? Oh, yeah, we were outside. I probably went back in after. Like I, Actually, um, as you're there, um, Arunari is like... Hey, uh, Kaifiri, this, this house right next door, right? Oh, uh, we'll say 23. She's like, this is a weird house. It looks like unfinished. Let's just go check it out. I mean, I mean we'll that wouldn't be next door, but okay. 20, wait, 23. what house? Where are we? We're in not. We were near nine. Oh, okay. This house, number eight. Okay. We can go check it out. Okay, great. Let's just... I don't know. Just see what it is. I don't know. It just looks weird. I might as well do something. I will stealth to the house. <laughs> okay. And when I say I will stealth, I mean I will try. Okay. She's pretty stealthy. All right. 16. Great. You're stealthy. Go uh, up to the house. Try to peek in any windows. Investigation. No. Perception. We're just... One to one. Great. Um, you know, it's it looks like this house is not like you start to you you're like super sneaky. You're like I'm gonna. You start to look and you're like, no one's been here in like forever. Like literally, like it looks like this house has not been touched for a while. But um, you do see um some skeletal remains of a human male dressed in a rotting orange cloak. Um, rest in a shallow grave behind the home. Uh, can I investigate the skeleton? Sure. You go over and you investigate the skeleton. Rule investigation. Orange cloak. I mean, that sounds... Eleven. It looks like a dead body. Oh. Uh... Does anyone else wear an orange cloak in the town? Not, Not that, that we've there. heard. Uh, she's got a 15. Um, Aaron is like, this is kind of, I mean, are you good at nature checks, maybe? Can we just tell, can anyone tell, like, how long this has been dead? Could I make a nature check? Mm -hmm. Or... Yeah, that one. <laughs> Eight. Yeah, now you're just like, I don't know, it's dead. I don't, I don't got this one. Um, Could I look closer at the cloak? Maybe see if it's anything besides just a normal cloak? Um, sure. You look closer at the cloak. Uh, and it looks like a cloak. It doesn't seem like magical or anything? No, no. Seems like, kind of okay. like... Ratty and crap. Back to the house, then. Alright, back to uh, that. Uh, Teddy, you go meet up with them. Yeah, I went to the, uh, the house. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Did Teddy find us? Because we had said we were going to meet back at the tavern. Yeah, we went back to the tavern. Isn't that what... Uh, no, I think she meant she was going inside. I wanted, well, I wanted to look closer at the house because you were like, oh, you found this shallow grave. Oh, never... you want to go back? You want to go look inside oh, the yeah. broken house? Okay, you go look at the house and there's not much there. Okay. It doesn't seem like there'd be anything inside worth looking around. It's not even like, it's not even like fully framed out. So like you go, you can go and look, but there's just nothing. It looks okay. like it was under construction. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, then it's I'll only head, half we'll head constructed. Back. We'll head back then. Okay. Alright, Teddy. Uh, I walk in, I'm just like... So I went to the elder's house. Yeah. What'd you find? 
it uh, seems like a no-go to just barge in. I mean, there's guards and there's dogs, and uh, I think it'd be tough. <laughs> Good thing we didn't try that then. I've got a couple ideas. And what would that be? Those be? Besides the two you told us earlier. Well, I mean... Oh, but it has windows, so... I mean, I got an idea to get everybody out of the building. What's that? Look, sometimes a guy's just gotta have some secrets, you know? Does it have to do with farting? <laughs> no. no, it does not. <laughs> I thought the point was to get rid of... All right, get empty witch. Look, I had an idea of, uh, of abort... <laughs> boarding up the door. There's only one door and then lighting the thing on fire. But I mean, they could jump out through the window. So. For which one? Huh? Uh, the, 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 the big man's house. Oh. We could do that to the cannibal too. Light that building on fire. <laughs> Just get rid of it. He could also jump out the window. I mean, yeah. He could. I think also, um, like these are people's houses, and if we could get them out. With, like, too. I'm not gonna say that that's a bad idea. I'm just gonna say that if we could avoid the burning of people's houses down, that I feel like people would be more receptive to that. Uh, I feel like you're thinking that the people think that getting their house burned down is somehow worse than having the town controlled by bandits. I think I'm just saying that if we could avoid it, it would be ideal. But I accept that we might not be able to. I think burning down a couple of houses is the is the least of their problems. The house could always be rebuilt. I think both are valid points. <laughs> what if we Go after Bilnan first. He's generally alone in the stables. Yeah, we can take him out pretty easy. Are we burning down the stables? No. No. Why would we burn down the perfectly good stables? You were just talking about burning down houses, and so I just wasn't sure. No, I think for for him it would be a little. We would try to be a little quieter about it. Which, ideally, we'd be that way for all of them. Yeah, I don't... I I see getting him quietly. I don't see getting any of the other ones. And this cannibal fella is just... Seems... Weird. Agreed. I've got a, I've got a plan brewing for him, but I, I, don't, I don't know if it's going to work. But yeah, I think uh, if we wait, wait until uh, it starts to get dark out, and then we can head down to the stables and take, take out uh, Billman or whatever his name is. That sounds like a plan. Okay, we're gonna wait it out. Yep. Wait until it gets. Um, for dark. darker out. Mm. Uh, how long is that? Like, maybe an hours? So I could, you know, put some hours in my book? I'm gonna say it's maybe like two or three. Okay. Three hours. Okay. Also, it's probably a good time to stop. Probably. 
Ah, uh, yeah. No game because of Henry. Blame it on Henry because he's adorable. Come on, Henry. Adorable. <laughs> Come on, Henry.